Right, I think we are live. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, Maracaibo solo campaign playthrough part two. Spoilers for the campaign if you are worried about the storyline. Uh, we're going to continue from where we left off. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, and yeah, for those people who don't know, uh, well, it's not it's not Drake Hollow. I haven't changed that. Bear with us a minute. <laughs> I haven't changed the name of the game from the previous stream. But let's fix that very quickly. Mara Ibo Solo Campaign. There you go. I knew there was something that I'd forget to do. Uh, we are we are ready to go. Um, the other thing, uh, so I'm using a new streaming software for those who don't know. I started using this a couple of days ago. Uh, I've got a new chat widget on the left hand side. Unfortunately, as you can see right now, the names of people is in dark blue, which you can't see against the background. And I have spoken to them about this and it turns out there's nothing you can do. That, that color there, the dark blue, uh, is randomly chosen. I say there's nothing that can be done. If I go into the chat box, turn the chat box off and then turn it on again, what will happen is it will all disappear, he says, uh, but then it'll come back and it'll be a different color, um, he says. Change that, change that. And yeah, apparently it picks a random color uh, each time <laughs> and comes back. Uh, you're saying that you played this three times uh, and even lost the last two games. Yeah, Gene. Right, we're going to be continuing from where we left off. I've got this set up. Uh, yeah, if somebody posts something in the chat, let's see what random color appears this time. Let's just move over here a bit. There we go, that's better. Um, so yeah, previously we played game one, played on the easy setting, I won the game, and we did chapter one of the story. Uh, we had the option of starting chapter two. Uh, in fact, chapter two started, but we actually didn't get there. So now that we're continuing from where we left off, I've done most of the setup. Uh, I've chosen the four buildings there. Oh, we've now got purple. Oh, great, brilliant. <laughs> it's not pink, well, it's kind of a dark pink. So yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just a really odd um, thing. But if anybody knows uh, any custom CSS, apparently I might be able to change it. Uh, but for now, it's really hard to see the names of people in the chat. It's, it's really weird. They allow me to change the color of the text, but not the names of the people. It's just, it's just very, very unusual. Um, right, so I'm gonna deal out the starting cities uh, at random, uh, which is that. So that's that done. I've done the starting quests on here. That's all done. Uh, and today I'm actually gonna be playing on one difficulty level up. So. Uh, the solo deck today is made up of five A cards, one B and one C. Last week's playthrough, it was just five A cards and a C card. I've mixed the B card into there. Um, I've also got some new camera presets. Is that a game topper? Yes, it is a game topper mat. Um, so here are, here are the full buildings. And we're playing with the official variant rule that these are all visible from the start of the game. Not that I really looked at them last time, but let's just have another look now. So one of them is going to give me two points per ship upgrade. Another one is going to give me uh, the doubloons on the, vi on, on the income track. Victory points times two. Okay, right. The next one is the citadel. Uh, leftover combat points and figures in own supply. Right, okay. And the next one is per quest. Okay, so that's those. Good morning from Canada. Good morning, Corey. Thank you for joining in. Uh, Brendan's watching for a few minutes and has got to get back to work. How long did it take me to set up? Took me about 15 minutes to set up. Um, that's mainly because uh, I played it like last week and I remembered most of the setup. Um, we haven't quite finished with the setup. We've got the solo board. I've got my board. I have found my metal money. Good news. I found my metal coins. So we're going to be using the metal coins. Um, I have forgotten how many you start with though. Is it eight? How much money do you start with? Number seven. Eight. Yeah, give that player eight doubloons. Right, so I'm going to get eight doubloons to start with. Uh, so I'm going to use, this is my planning area as normal, and then I'm going to put my other cards. Yeah, I don't really have space for my other cards, and so my other cards are going to go here, and we'll see how many of them we get. 
Um, right, so from the second game onwards, do you want to pick up the campaign from where you left off? Yes. So we have the blue bag. The blue bag contained everything that we uh, took off the board from last time. Take all of the story cards out of the bag and add them to here. I'll read that in a second. Um, and any legacy tiles go onto the appropriate positions on the board. So Puerto Cabezas um, grew from a village, is now a town, uh, which means we need a quest tile on there. Okay, and we also have pirates. That was it. There were pirates in these areas. Okay. Right, so let's read the part two of the story, which is this. Uh, Right. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. The length of the setup is because you have to, you know, randomize the cities, randomize the quests, shuffle the cards, randomize them. It, actually, the card bit, uh, that takes a while because you've got A cards, B cards and C cards uh, and you only use certain ones depending on. Yeah. So that setting up the deck and the cards, that takes a bit of time. Right. Chapter two. The story so far. Previously on Maracaibo, a plague has broken out in the Caribbean. Caribbean or Caribbean? Which one do you say? Uh, only Dr. Edward may know how to produce the cure. Portobello, the doctor examines the corpses. After a while, he smiles and says, I think I know a cure. Suddenly, pirates appear. Okay, so we have a story quest on 15, which is this. Uh, no, it's this one. Yeah, so this number one goes here. There is a quest in Portobello. We also have uh, another quest on 16, which is here in Bluefields. Uh, tiles L20 and L21, which is these two. Rule, you cannot carry out village actions in villages with skull tiles. So the pirates have basically attacked here. Okay, they've got these two areas. We cannot carry out the village actions here. You could only fulfill quests or use assistance. The quest here, number one, is I need two uh, telescope, periscopes, whatever they were called. And here I need two maps. Right, and then when we do that, I get a certain amount of bonuses and then I read the other side of the card. Okay, so that's what we need to do. We need to go here and basically um, do that. Okay, right. Uh, don't forget each nation gets a free cube on the board. I did forget that. Thank you very much. That is for solo game or for two player game? Or both. I know it's for the solo game. I just think, is it for the two player game as well? Where is it? Where is it? Solo game is here. Solo setup has been done. Setup for the two-player game as follows. Yeah, I think it's in the two-player game setup rules. Can't quite remember where they start. Where is it? Where was it in the rules? It's in the setup. Right, I am in the setup. Uh, we've done that. In a two-play game, cover the city of Maracaibo on the board with that. Yep, yeah, done that. Um, oh, we were supposed to have taken the two city tiles marked with the... Ah, right, hang on a minute. I'm going to have to do these cities again. I was supposed to take out the ones that have the thing on the back. Take two city tiles marked with that and randomly choose two more. Shuffle the four tiles together. Right, okay, so I'd done the setup slightly wrong. So it's definitely these two tiles and then two more. Lower left italics paragraph. Thank you, Rene. Yep, spotted it. Red ownership marker on six, white ownership marker on seven, and blue ownership marker on eight. So it's always the same. Um, what did I say? Red on six. White on seven, blue on eight. Yeah, okay, right. So they are the city tiles in use. I'm now going to shuffle these up. So Port Royal, uh, Santo Domingo, Puerto Plata, and Cartagena. Right, okay. I think that is it done for the setup. Doubloons, prestige buildings. Yeah, we are, we are good to go. Apart from, I need, let's just zoom in on this so you can see my player board. Let's get the mouse out of the way. Um, so I'm going to shuffle these. And remember, I am playing with the mini expansion. So I have a choice of either wealth or the English. Right, okay. So which of these do I want? 
I think you can look at your eight opening cards to start with um, to see if this is actually going to make much difference. But wealth is basically we want to be doing quests. Well, we want to be doing the quests for either of these, so that's fine. Um, the wealth one is all about collecting synergy tokens and influence in two nations, whereas the English one is about the number of assistants and the number of English locations. So yeah, which one of them should I go to? Uh, Benny's asking where to get the mini expansion. It's a pack of cards. I've actually got, um, yeah, I've actually got a few spare ones. I should do, I should just do some Patreon giveaways. I've got, I've got a load of spare mini expansions. So yeah, let me know, Ben, uh, and I can, I can probably send you one. So what have we got here? We have an assistant here. We have an assistant here. We have an assistant here. So I have three cards with assistants on. If we wanted to go down this route, uh, that is in location six, location eight, and location 19. Okay. So this, this is an option. We could go down this. Which, which, which one do you think I should do? Wealth or English? What are the prestige buildings? The prestige buildings are the academy, the cathedral, the citadel, and the palace. Um, I mean, I kind of want to do quests anyway. Because of Gene's solo board, you want to be doing quests and ship upgrades and exploration. Um, so yeah. Pentahausen says assistance would be interesting. Yeah, I've done some assistance before. Okay, may, maybe I'll go for the English one. I'm just looking at the synergy tokens on these. There isn't that many. Yeah, okay, we're going to go for the English one. Okay, Flying Dutchman. Yeah, I've got the Flying Dutchman somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. I'll be doing quests for the story as well. Yes. The third prestige building matches the English. Is it? The Citadel? Okay, right. We're going to go with that one. So this is our... Whatever called, whatever type of card it is. I can't remember what it's called. But that, that type of card is going there. Uh, and then out of our eight cards, one of them goes here in our planning area, three of them go into our hand, and four of them go to the discard pile. So if we're going to be going with assistants, which assistant do we want? I think we want the innkeeper. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the innkeeper. Uh, Rene also wants the Flying Dutchman. If it, Yeah, let me know, Rene. I think I've got some Flying Dutchman tiles spare. So yeah, drop me a message afterwards and we can sort something out. I don't even, I actually don't have it in here, but I think I've got a whole load of promo cards, tiles in the other room. So we're going to put the innkeeper and we're going to have that in my planning area because I'm not going to be using that for the ability. Uh, mercenary or mercenary? I think we're going to go with this mercenary. So that's going to get discarded. Now, out of these cards, last time I took the Master Builder and then didn't play it till <laughs> right near the end of the game. Um, Conquer Village, I think he's going to go to the discard pile. Which three of these do we want? Bear in mind I'm going first. If I'm going to be going to Santiago first, I need some tobacco. Uh, Quest Hunter was quite good because it gives me that. I think we might go for the Sailor. Let's go down the combat route this time. We'll go down the Sailor. Uh, I don't want that one. And that's going to require one of those. Uh, that's going to require a worker. Career card. That's it. Thank you, Yogi Bear. It's a career. My career card is the English. Right. They are the four cards I'm going to discard. They go on the discard pile. So these are in my hand, which are off camera. That is the one in my planning area. In fact, I'm going to put it there to keep it uh, distinct. And we are ready to go. Try and remember how to play. <clears throat> so turn one, it is me first. I am just going to move one and I'm going to go to Santiago uh, and I am going to deliver some tobacco and I'm going to deliver the tobacco um, Oh, maybe I will do that actually. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I will do that, just thinking about it. So I'm going to deliver tobacco with the sailor using the tobacco icon. So that's discarded. Uh, I put one of my discs on the board. Now, which one do we want to do? Let's not cheat like I did last time and unlock this one. Um, 
I think I'm going to unlock that one. That, that was quite a popular one last time. So we're going to start unlocking that one. And I get to do this ability, uh, which is I gain another worker. And I do one village action. And the one village action I'm going to do is I'm going to spend six and play the master builder. There you go. Leaving me with two cash. Three workers on your career card. Oh, yes. Thank you. One, two, three. There you go. I'd actually put three workers to one side, ready to do that, and then completely forgot. Um, so that's it. That's my first turn done. I moved there. I delivered that. I did that. And I did that. I now draw back up to my hand size, uh, which is four. Is that right? I'm drawing three cards at the end of my turn. Uh, Michael is saying he usually goes for increased hand size first. Yeah, that, that's a common one as well. Oh, I'm missing two discs. I just noticed. That's another one, another common one that people go for as well, I think. So yeah, um, if that's right, you start with three cards in hand and one in your playing card area, and then you draw back up to your hand size of four. So yeah. Right, let's let's go with some cards then. Um, now it's going to cost gold to take these. Is there any of those that I specifically want? There isn't. So I'm just going to take three cards from the top of the deck. Uh, oh, at the start you keep four cards in hand and one in the playing area. Ah, I thought that was right. So instead of discarding four, which is what I did at the start, I should have kept one of these. So let's keep the um, <clears throat> let's keep the other mercenary just in case. Right. So I'm actually drawing two cards. Stevens here. Yes, part two. Sailor and another mercenary. Wow. Okay. Lots of look <laughs> at my hand of cards. My hand of cards is <laughs> three blokes who all look the same, and and a sailor. Okay. Right. So. First turn is done. Gene's turn. Let's try and remember how the solo game works for Gene. So the first one is move two. Uh, and if there is a choice, go around the bottom. Now, Gene only counts cities and, oh, sorry, towns. Are they called towns? Cities. They're called cities. Uh, only counts cities and villages with quests on, I think, if I've got that right. So Jean counts Santiago, but doesn't count Petit Guave, and then goes to Santa Domingo. Okay, and then uh, completes the quest, if there was a quest there. There isn't a quest there. Uh, so if there's a city, drops off a disc. Uh, if it can't drop off a disc, takes the third card, but can drop off a disc, so that goes there. Uh, and then gains one influence with the English. No, no, I'm all about the English. It's going to be an English-centric thing. And I think that's it. I think that's how the solo card works. Gloria is a good card, apparently. Oh, yeah, Gloria. This is, um, this is a C card, so this was added in as part of the campaign. She's the sister of your first officer and lost her family in Portobello. She's got a book. What do the books do? Oh, it means you've got a permanent... Object. Right, okay. Yeah, so I think that's it. I think that's what Gene does. Moves to, does the city thing, gets an influence. Yeah, we're all, we're all good. Right. My go. Uh, I'm short of money already. <laughs> so, in order for me to play one of these mercenaries or the innkeeper or anything like that, it's actually going to be quite tricky. How do you get money? Yeah, money's, money's really tricky, isn't it? It's discarding your cards and you, village actions get your money. Uh, we have here, we have this. Now, this could be quite useful. Um, yeah, do I have a corn to drop off? I do. Is it the mercenary that I'm not going to be able to play? It is. I think we're going to go to Porta Plata. Yeah, so I'm going to go around the top edge. I'm going to go one, two, three. I am going to deliver some corn there, and I'm going to unlock that. So that, that upgrade has now happened. That is there. Uh, the 17 space, it looks like two books. Yes, it is two books. It is. Um, and I get two exploration points. So I move one, two, get rid of the bit of fluff. Uh, and I've landed on there, so I gain two points. Now, I could just move one 
if I wanted to, to get the three coins. But no, I'm gonna, gonna move ahead on there and get that. Uh, and I think that's me done. I'll just carry on playing and the chat will uh, let me know if I get anything wrong. So now it's Jean. Right, I'm gonna put that card to the bottom of the deck to save space. So Jean, mechanically skilled. Uh, this is the B card that I've added. So moves two. So again, skips that, skips that, skips that, skips that, skips that. Nothing happening there. So one is Maracaibo. Skips that. And two Port Royal. Wow. So she's zoomed ahead. Gone all the way to Port Royal. Um, and then City. Drop off a disc. Yep, can drop off a disc. Oh. And... Removes a disc, and if it was rounds three and four, also gets four points. So just removes a disc. Right, okay. And I think that's it. I think that is Gene done. Uh, if you out Gene discard on bottom, you won't know when to shuffle. Uh, I do, because I've, I've put it face up on the bottom. So when I get to the face up card, yeah. It's one of those little tricks with board games. If you put cards face up on the bottom of the deck, you actually save space on the game table, and you know when you need to shuffle. So, right, my go. So Jeannie's already rushed ahead, and Jean could be ending this round very quickly. Very quickly indeed. And I need two of these... Are they called periscopes? I'm going to look up what they're called. Because they're not periscopes. And they're not telescopes either. Yeah, somebody tell me in the chat what they're called. Because <laughs> I they've, they've definitely got a name. and I think somebody told me what they were last time, and I can't remember. So, where are we going to go? We desperately need money. Oh, I didn't draw. Uh, Woods Rogers. England's got to have at least three locations on the board. Spyglasses. Oh, okay. So, spyglasses or telescopes, yeah. I thought there was something else. I thought somebody gave him a fancy name last time. Maybe not. Right, now we could go to Maracaibo. And we could have a fight. And then I can get the English on the board. Yes. Yeah. But I do need money. I don't have two spyglasses. I only have one spyglass. Is there a spyglass on any of those cards? There is. There's a harbour there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I might have to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could go seven to Santa Marta and I'd get three village actions. But no, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to deliver some sugar using this card. Maracaibo. Fighting can give you money. Yes, that's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping. So now I'm going to unlock... I'm going to start unlocking this one that gives me a one of five money because money is is tight. We're not going to have any simply red references today. I've decided that this week is not a simply red week. So, yeah. So I've done that. That goes on there, and we fight. So let's try and remember how the fight rules work. I draw one of these. Let's just have a look at what it is. It is this one. Uh, now, the top modifier is irrelevant because all of the nations currently have one cube on the board. So it's a case of whether I want to fight for the French, uh, the Spanish, or the British. Now, the British is only two combat points, but I do get two points if I choose the British. And I can't... The, the English. And I do want the English cubes on the board. So I think we might have to choose that, even though it's not actually a very good one. No, we need, we need four... No, in fact, yeah, two combat points doesn't actually get you any cubes on the board. It just gets you influence with the nation. You need four combat points to get a cube on the board. And I can sacrifice crew members for combat value, and I do have one here. So I think that's what we might do. I'm going to go with the English, so I'm going to choose the bottom option. Uh, I get two points. I've got two combat points. I will spend my one combat point there and sacrifice the queue. Yep, thank you very much. For four, I will then use the four combat points to gain one influence with the English and put an English cube on the board 
and we're going to put it here, which gets me four money. That's how you get the money. Ding! Right, okay. Done. I'm then going to draw a card, and I think, are we going to do the quest? Yeah, I think we should do the quest. What, what's interesting in this game is um, we, I, we're in chapter two of the story, but if neither of me or Jean do this quest, we play an entire game and the story doesn't actually progress. Yeah? Because if the story will only progress when somebody goes here. So we could literally play this entire game, ignore this quest, and then we'll be on to game three, and we're still on the same chapter of the game, if I understood it. Uh, Benny's telling me to pick up Gloria. Um, well, I, I want to pick up Gloria, but I also want to pick up the harbour, because the harbour's got the spyglass, and that will give me two spyglasses. And two spyglasses will allow me to complete this quest. So that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay one doubloon to take the harbour. Okay, I'll get Gloria next time. That's replaced by a pinnace. Oh, plan a card, yes. I forgot you can plan cards, yeah. Okay, so we're going to put Woods Rogers into my planning area, which allows me to spend another coin to take Gloria. There you go, right, okay, so I've got two cards. Yeah, I keep forgetting, your planning area is like a, a reserve area. Um, okay, yeah, we're all good, we're all good. That was that done, that was that done. It is now Jean's turn. So that goes to the bottom of the deck. The next card is move one. So she moves to here. Uh, and there is a bit in the back of the rule book about what Jean does on different legacy tiles. And I don't know which legacy tile that is. It's L1. Let's, let's see what she does on L1. L1. Uh, Porto Cabezas is now a city. Immediately add a quest to the tile. As a city action, you can deliver a good here and then fulfill the quest, provided that there is space in the market. Uh, add the quest tile to your ship. As usual, place a quest tile on the new amount of space. Um, where is it? It's definitely in here. Here we go. Um, there's no mention of it. L1 is not here. Okay, right. So I don't know what she does um, with that. Yeah, it's a normal city. She delivers but does not pick up the quest. Yeah, I, re I remember reading that somewhere. I can't remember where we read that, but that's definitely something we looked at last time. Um, right. Where are we up to? It's Jean, isn't it? Jean's moving one and moved one to here, and this is what we're doing. So delivering, but no quest. Okay, delivering, no quest, and gains an influence in France. There you go. That is Jean done. So now it's me. I'm going to go and rescue the village of Portobello from the pirates. So I go one, two, three, and I'm going to complete the quest here, the story quest, which requires two spyglasses. So I get rid of my two spyglasses and we've done the quest. So I get an influence with any nation I want. I'm going to take the English. I get two money. Uh, I get one point for every compass I have. I only have one compass. Uh, and I get the quest. So that goes there. There we go. Right. And then we flip this over and we read it. Okay. The pirates descend on Dr. Redwood and quickly subdue him, bringing him back to their ship. What? Oh. oh, that's no good. You are surprised that they are sailing under the Spanish flag and resolve to follow them. Read card 10. Right, that's that bit of the story done. Let's go to card 10. Let's put card 9 back. Right, card 10. You slowly approach the pirate ship. To catch it, 
you will need full sails. So we need a story quest on space 12, which is in Santa Marta. Uh, we need another quest on seven, is St. Kitts. And what's this? Min four. So does that mean we must have moved four when we land on St. Marta? Yeah, I think it is. Got to be that. So if we arrive in Saint Santa Marta, having moved at least four, we can complete the quest. Okay. Uh, what do you mean too early? You flip at the end of the round. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, so that hasn't happened yet. Thank you. We don't do that yet. End of the round. Uh, no, don't put it face down, Paul. <laughs> so that's not there. Shh, didn't happen. That's not there and that's not there. Okay, forget that. It is a bit weird that it happens at the end of the round when you're no longer there, but now does this tile get removed? Does L20 get removed? It didn't say to remove it. Yeah, it didn't say to remove it. L20 stays for now. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, right. So forget that. We went there, we did the quest, but we don't advance the story till the end of the round. That's what this means. Yeah, the iconography is great in this game. It's all on the board. I just didn't look at it. So, Gene. Gene moved two. So that, but has to stop there. Uh, complete a quest. No city. Put a disc on the city. Can't put a disc on the city. So claims card number two. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck this. Right. I was going to do something clever um, because these are taking up quite a bit of space. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually, rather than putting this card anywhere on Jean's area, I'm going to put a coin. And every coin, even though it's a five, because I've got plenty of fives, this coin means that she's got a card. OK, so that's what that means. So she's got a card, which is going to score points at the end. Um, the plague is not yet cured. The village is still empty. Right, OK. Put his cards on his board. I could on her board, but it's kind of covering up that stuff. So, no, that, that's fine. Um, that, yeah, that means Jean has one card. Right. Um, and that's it. So move there. Did that. That replenishes. And what's this? Quest and three points. Take a quest from the draw pile plus three points. Oh! One, two, three. And a quest from the draw pile. Right, that's the C card. So that's a really powerful one. I could use a green cube on the VP income track. I could. I could absolutely do that. Good idea, Renee. If I can find the green cubes, <laughs> where have I put them? Right, OK, so a green cube. Uh, in fact, we can put it on here. Yeah, there you go. So that that is tracking how many cards Jean has. Jean has one card. Right. Awesome. Right. Yes, that's a really good card. That's the C card. My go. And this is going to be my last turn because Jean is going to move to here and that's going to be the end of the round. Oh, I forgot to draw up. Yeah, Renee's good at coming up with uh, life, life tips. Um, yeah, there's, there's this life tip as well. You don't have to do all of this. You could just put one on there and move it along. Oh, it increments two. Oh yeah, good point. It's one, two, three, four, and then six. Okay, so forget that. We'll go back with this original idea. There you go. So that means Jean has got one card in hand. Thank you. Right, I've got a couple of new cards. What am I going to do for my last turn? We could. Have I got two maps? I don't. I do have lots of books. But I can't. Yeah, that's a bit of a waste. Um, yeah, I only have one map. Rats. I should have bought a card. Well, so much for playing mercenaries. 
I've not done any of that. <laughs> Let, how, how far do you need to go to get two actions? Four. I think I'm going to get two village actions. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Or I could go five and do that. Ooh. Oh, hello. And then that would be combat again. Oh, so many choices. So many choices. Um, if I put a mercenary on the board now, am I going to get two? No, you only get two money if you pass the mercenary and don't use it. Yeah. Yeah, explore it or fight, fight the English so you can get the card out. Yeah, that's what I was... That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay, yeah, I'm going to move to here and I'm going to fight. Okay, we're going to draw another combat card. And we have drawn this one. So if I choose whoever's in third place, I get an extra three. But there are two nations in third place. So that doesn't... Uh, yeah, that, does, that doesn't apply. So... I will just choose the English and I get four, four fighty points. Now, four fighty points is good because that is enough to put a cube on the board. And I'm going to put it here and get three money. Okay, and that's a second combat tile. Right, that is three English cubes on the board, which means if I had ten money or nine because I get a discount, I can play Woods Rogers, which means every time before combat, I get a point. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get it in play just yet. No, not going to get it in play right now. Now, do I want to put any of these into play to buy any of those? Don't think I do. No. Although I do need another map. Uh, there's none there with a map. Okay. I think I'm good. Oh, an English rep as well. Yes, thank you. Yeah, one English rep, put a cube on the board, get the, get the stuff. Right, so Jean, uh, the movement is irrelevant, just moves to there. Uh, but you still do all of this, don't you? I think, I think you do all of that. Um, so there's no quest. Is it a city? Yeah, it's a city because there's a banner. So, city, uh, remove, put a disc on, can't put a disc on, so take card number four. So she takes that card, means she's now got two cards, that replenishes. That's going to go out. Uh, and then combat. Is this right? Did I move up my rep? I did, yes. I'd forgotten, but then I moved it up. Um, or oh, I can build it at the end of the round, you can. Yes, thank you. I'd forgotten about that. You get to build a card at the end of the round. Um, so, he's got all of this. So, Gene is doing combat. Yeah, take disc and Gene fights. Take disc? Take card, you mean? Yeah, because you can't put a disc on the city because there's, there's nowhere to put it. Um, so, it, it's take card four instead. Right, okay. So, we're doing a combat tile. Uh... Yeah, right. This is the bit I can't quite remember now. Uh, I think she ignores all of the stuff at the top. And then you work out the relative values based on this. So, for example, France is 3 plus 1 minus 0. So, France is 4. Spain is 3. And the English is 2. So, she's fighting for the French. Um, yeah. So, put a French cube on the board. Uh, it's going to go in the city with the lowest number. So that will be um, Santa Domingo. And gets two influence with that nation. One, two. Is that right? She gets plus one for France. So yes, got that right. Um, and I don't think she gets that bonus. And I don't think she gets that bonus either. So I think that's it. I think that's right. Let me know if I got that wrong. Uh, and that is the end of the first round of the game. So I can now either claim one of the prestige buildings, um, 
play a card or get two points. He gets the card bonus. But the card bonus was one money. Hmm, she does not. Yeah. Andrea's got to go. Thank you for joining in, Andrea. Uh, yeah, so Andrew's saying he gets the card bonus, but not the flag reward. I don't think she gets money. Maybe if there was a point on it, she'd get the point. Solo variant. Combat. Uh, she gets the reward indicated by the Automa card. Either two influence with the nation she fought, or three influence with the nation she fought, and two victory points. Jean ignores any costs or immediate bonuses on the combat token. Uh, yep, yeah, she doesn't get anything. So apparently she gets influence from the Automa card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gets that. She doesn't get the reward on the tile or on the flag. It does say that. But that's it. That is the end of the round. Uh, it's whether I now want to build this card. So I think I am going to. It's going to cost me all of my money. But we're bring, going to bring into play Woods's Rogers. It cost me nine money. Okay, but that increases my victory points, my money from eight to ten, and my victory points from zero to two. Okay, so they are both in play. You can't really see them. There you go. Um, top of card bonus. I don't think she gets the top card bonus either. I don't think. She grabs card instead of disc. Yeah, Michael might be behind on the chart. Michael, are you watching this very, very up to date? Because your comment about grabbing a card instead of a disc uh, was from a while ago, I think. Right, so I've done that. Now we get income. So I get 10 money. Uh, and I get two points. Uh, and Jean gets... Jean gets points equal to how many cards she's got. Oh, right, which is two, which is why we're using the victory point track to track it. Clever. Like it. Uh, and she also gets this as well, I believe. Yeah, she also gets three points for that. One, two, three. Um, okay. Jean does not ignore the top of the combat tokens. Oh, I thought she did. Okay. Uh, in this case, though, it was tied. Oh, so it should have been... It should, yeah, it was tied. Yeah, it was tied between France and Spain, so there was no third place bonus. Yeah, okay, so we're okay. But it's, it's good to know. Um, I'd, I'd forgotten that she actually does use the, the modifier on top of the deck. Right, so we've done that. Uh, we remove these discs. Uh, we refresh the card display. So these all disappear. And we get four more. Conquer Village, English Commodore. Mary Reed and a martyr. Okay. Uh, reveal the next prestige building that we're playing with the variant rule. Advance the story. Okay, so all of that stuff earlier on about the story, that happens now. So that goes there, that goes there, and we need to go to Santa Marta, having moved at least four. Okay. Boats go back here. That was Jean's go. So it's now my go. And I've got money. And I could, if I wanted to, take this worker off. But I'm tempted to wait until we can get six on the board. Um, right, okay, so we have Gloria in play. We have Gloria in hand. Do we want to go to Santiago? <sighs> that would mean losing the other mercenary. And we were kind of going to go with an assistant game. I kind of don't want to do that. Um, we might just have to use Gloria. Oh, it's such a waste. But, hmm. Yeah, okay, we're going to do it. We are going to use Gloria, sorry, um, to provide the tobacco. And I'm going to put that. Come on. Oh, come out. Yeah, the holes in this tray. So it's a nice tray, but the, the holes for the discs are not quite big enough. 
as you can see, I, I can't actually get this out. Yeah, Mary Reed is very good. I can only play it if uh, <laughs> England's got three locations. Okay, and there's nothing, I, c I can't really make these, these holes any bigger. So, yeah, thank you very much to e Raptor for the insert, and I have done a, uh, a time-lapse video of me putting this insert together. Unfortunately, as I say, the holes are not quite big enough to get these tokens in. Is it coming out? Come on. There you go. They're supposed to make gameplay easier, not harder. So that goes on there. I've unlocked that. I get five money. Uh, I get an extra worker. And I'm going to do a village action. And I'm going to play the innkeeper. So the innkeeper is going to come into play. Uh, I can kind of put it there now, can't I? Yeah, I can put it there. So that cost me six minus one for the master builder. So it only cost me five. And that means I have to put an, uh, on one of these workers on Martinique. So I have an assistant in Martinique. And then whenever I visit her, I get three money and two victory points per assistant I have on the board. Right. That's that done. That's that done. And I'm going to draw back up to my hand size and I'm going to take Mary Reed. Okay. There we go. Jean's go. Jean is moving two. So one. Going around the top way. Two. Uh, quest. No quest. Uh, so city. Can drop off a disc. So does. Plan cards. Oh yeah, I'm always forgetting about planning cards. <laughs> Never mind, I'll do it next time. Uh, and gains one influence with Spain. Right, that is Jean done. My go. I want to play another assistant. I also want to play Mary Reed. Oh, I want to do everything. So much I want to do. Uh, there's no point doing this because I don't have two combat points. Uh, do I have two spyglasses to do this quest? I don't. See, she's going to do this quest. Jeannie's going to possibly stop here and do this quest. I can't do the quest because I don't have two spyglasses. I could just go to Martinique. But if, no. If I go to Martinique, I can only use the assistant. You can either do actions, uh, or fulfill a quest, or use your assistant. Yeah, okay. Uh, did I move my ship? Oh, I didn't move my ship. No, you're right. <laughs> They're so close together. I had long arms. That's what I was doing. Where am I going to go? I don't want to move one. Twos. No, I need to move four. One, two, three, four. I could go to San Juan. If I go there and do two village actions, I could... Play another mercenary. Now, mercenary's got a blue action on it. Blue's immediate, isn't it? Oh, no, that's when you visit it. Yeah, blue is the assistant. Okay. Um, and then I can go there and visit my assistant. I mean, that's lots of points. Gloria should be on the discard. This is tricky. This is really tricky. Um, or I could just zoom past my assistant and get three village actions. Because I kind of want to get to Maracaibo before Jean does. Um, although if Jean draws a two, it's going to be one, two. Yeah, it really depends on the card. I still have a brown disc on the leftmost city. Thank you. I've forgotten about that. So my choices are, I'm either going to move to this village here and do two village actions and play the mercenary. Or I'm going to move... No, let's, let's do that. Because otherwise I'll be here all day thinking about it. And I want to try and get two, two games in today. Uh, try to. It's already 10 to 3. One, two. 
no, I'm going the long way around. One, two, three, four. So I've moved four, which means I'm doing two village actions. Uh, the first village action that I'm doing is to play the mercenary, which costs five, and puts this on here. So I have an assistant on Lesiba. Um, uh, Jolly's here, likes the new chat software, but no, I, I, I can't change the name color. I, uh, yeah, I, expect, uh, I talked about this at the, at the start of the video. It chooses randomly um, whenever the chat software loads. It just picks a random color and I can't change it. It's really, really annoying and really weird. Um, but it is free. Uh, two points when you go past your assistant. Yes, two points, not too many. Okay, thank you. So yeah, my first action was that. My second action, uh, my second village action is going to be to gain a coin and um, a combat point. Yeah, that's a village action, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, right. So that's me done, and I've got three cards in hand. So I'm going to take... Uh, are any of these any good? I mean, the patron's a nice amount of points. I'm going to take the English Commodore. I'm going to pay one money and take the English Commodore. Because I think that's good for my strategy. Okay, right, we're done. Uh, Jeannie's next. Jeannie's moving one. Okay, so Jean does the quest. So Jean moves. Where's that? That's there, isn't it? Yeah, so Jean moves to here uh, and does the quest. So it's very simple. That just goes there. If you can reach, uh, yeah, that's done. So if it was a city, there would be all of this. Does she do the bottom bit as well? I don't think she does. What upgrades do I have? I have the... Uh, village action for a combat point and a thing. I got the immediate five money. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, I've just got those two for now. Add the quest. This counts for storytellers. If she her turn ends immediately and it's your turn. Yeah, okay. So she takes the quest. Turn is over. My go. And you can see I've drawn through the deck. So we now shuffle it and go again. Okay, and everybody's in the chat saying only the quest. Thank you. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, while Joel's here, just to celebrate Joel arriving, I am going to just pop in here a minute. Bear with us, the screen's going to go black. Okay, and then we go into the chat box, and I basically change that to that, and it'll disappear, and then I put it back on, and now when the chat starts appearing again, it'll be in a different random colour. And we can keep doing this forever until we get a colour we like, if I really want to. <laughs> uh, I need to pay a coin for Reed. Oh yeah, yeah, thank you. There we go, we've got better colour now. We've got an orangey colour. Brilliant. Um, my go. We can go to Maracaibo. So we, yeah, we can totally go to Maracaibo. And yeah, right, let's do it. So I'm going one, two, passing my assistant, which means I get two points. Three, four, five. I've landed in Maracaibo. I'm going to deliver some uh, sugar to Maracaibo. Which one are we going to unlock now? I think we're going to unlock the one that allows us to take cards from here for free. Because I'm doing that quite a bit. And I've just noticed there's a disc missing from there. <laughs> there you go. So I've taken that one off. That goes on there. And we're going to do a fight. Okay, fight time. We have this one. So at the moment, the English have three, the French have two, and the Spanish has one. If I was to choose the Spanish, I get an extra three combat points. Right? So the Spanish would actually be five combat points and two points, whereas the English is only four. So bearing in mind, I've already got three cubes on the board now uh, for the English. Although my... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think... Hmm. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to choose the Spanish. So, yeah, so I've got... I get an extra three, so I've got five combat points and two. Yeah. Oh, no, but if I get the English locations on the board, that's my career. Yeah, my career is to try and get six English locations on the board. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to have to do that. It's it's my destiny. So we're going to choose the English. I've got four combat points. Um I am going to I'm just going to use the four combat points. There's four combat points is a cube on the board. So it's one influence with me for the English and then an English cube on the board and it's going to go uh it's going to go here and get two money. Okay, and that's it. That is my visit to Maracaibo done. So now it is Jean's go. Don't forget that you just gained a combat point. I did, but I didn't. Yeah, I could have used that combat point and a worker to get an extra two, but no, nah, four was enough. Right, so Jean, adventurer card, moves two. So counts Maracaibo. Ah, and then Santa Marta. So Jean has done the quest. So that is unfortunately done. Jean has now done three quests. And I've only done one. So she's going to get loads more points than me at the end of the game. Uh, Rogers helps you. Oh, yes, Rogers. Let me remind us. Ah. So if England owns at least three locations... Oh, no, to play it, England must own at least three locations. And before combat, I get a combat point. Ah, thank you. So I could have gone to six which means I could have used those two to get another influence with England. No, I think I'm going to save those combat points. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, thank you very much for the chat to remind me of that. Um, yeah, so Jean is moving there and has done the quest. So this quest is now completed. And we're going to move on with the story afterwards. Right, my go. Uh, I'm short of a card. I'm short of a card. I need to take a card. Um, ooh, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, we don't actually have that much. I'm just going to take one off the top of the deck, I think. Yeah, don't let Jean grab all of the quests. Yeah. Um, I do have the books, but it's on the English Commodore. I, I, was, I was thinking about that, but I think I might come back to that next time. Although Jean might end up... No, because Jean's not going to do the quest. So yeah, I'm just going to draw. Right. Oh, I've drawn a book. <laughs> Maybe I will. Uh, but I don't have that. Now, I know I don't... Oh, no, I do have that. But then I don't have the two books. Oh, so many choices. So many choices. Right. Where am I going to go? And I'm not really doing much in the whole way of exploring. I need to get more assistance on the board. I've got two. What happens when I visit that assistant? Get an influence in one nation and two village actions. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I could just go here and visit my, uh, visit my assistant. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll go here and have a fight with the English. Yeah, okay. So one, two, three, four. Visit my assistant. Oh, I should have gained um, the, the medal synergy token. There you go. Um, so yeah, I'm visiting my assistant. I get an influence with any nation. I'll take the English. And I get two village actions. Ooh. Two village actions. I'm going to take two money. Because that's two, four, six, seven, eight. I need one more money. And then I can buy Mary Reed at the end of the round. 
Oh, two minutes and two combat points. Yes, nice. Oh, move the Commodore to the planning area. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the planning area. <laughs> what is with me? I'm going to move Mary Reed to the planning area as well. Just keep forgetting about that key part of the game. Uh, so I can draw two new cards. Let's see what we get. Conquer village and a ship builder. Ship builder's yet another assistant. So we are doing all right with assistants. We've got two on the board. So I, I could complete that at any time. And get three money. Uh, and England has four cubes on the board. I can complete that at any time and get four money. But I'm kind of waiting until, I got the, um, until I've got the extra ones. Right, I think we're done. We are done. Gene moves two. So goes there and he's going around the top. So goes there and then goes there. Um, drops off a disc in the city and then removes another disc. Okay, that is Gene done. So on my go, I've only gone and got there first. Awesome stuff. Right, we're going to have another fight. Yeah, very different aim in this game, going with, um, going with more of a combat -y route. So before the fight, because of my uh, Woods Rogers, I gain a combat point. And then let's draw a combat tile. And let's see what we get. So if I was to choose the English, it's minus two. Are we still going to choose the English? I think we are. <laughs> yeah, we're going to choose the English. So it's four minus two. So it's two combat points. But I am going to spend another two uh, to put another cube on the board. And I'm going to go to Maracaibo and get two points. And get an influence with the English. Now I could, if I wanted to, buy some more combat points. Uh, use some more combat points to get another influence. Uh, yeah, I think let's do it. Oh no, five, yeah, I'll do it. I'll spend another two combat points to get another influence with the English. Because this is going to be points at the end of the game. Yeah, this is going to ramp up quite a bit, I think. So that's me done. I did the combat and yeah, that is my go done. Now, just, just thinking about this for a minute, I don't know whether that was the right thing to do because I needed money. Instead of doing that, I could have actually spent six and kicked out the French from here. Yeah, let, let's do that. So instead of Instead of spending four and then two, I'll just spend six on kicking the French out of there. And then I get two money instead of the two points. I think that's allowed. And then that, that cube disappears. I think you can kick somebody out even if the place isn't full. Even if it's not full, you can still kick somebody out. Uh, yeah, just let me know in the chat if I've done that correctly. And also, hurting the French is good. It is allowed and not a bad idea. Yeah, there you go. So I've knocked, I've knocked the power of the French down a bit. Not that that matters that much. Yeah, because unlike Mombasa, the cubes, when they're removed, get eliminated. They don't go back here. Right. Oh, you can't keep your own cell. You can't keep yourself out. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that was me done. So now it's Jean. Gini's moving too, but ignores all of this and just stops there. Uh, and then takes card number three. That goes down to there. Card three has been removed from the game. Uh, and gets one influence in England. Uh, yeah, you're not going to catch me up. And then my go, I move to there, and I basically get three points. One, two, three. Right, that is the end of the round. So we can all play cards, and I'm going to play... Mary Reed for nine. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so I have Mary Reed, uh, which means my points go up by two and my income goes up by two. Okay, so that's that done. So now we do income. I get 12 money and four points. 12 money. 
Uh, Jean gets 8 points plus 3, so Jean gets 11 points for 19. Uh, we remove the discs. We recycle the cards. I did move back my influence. Yes, I did. Uh, I moved back my influence and I lost the two points. Is Mary Reed a, a permanent compass? Mary Reed is a permanent compass. Yes. There you go. Just about see her off camera, uh, on camera. Okay, so four new cards in the display. That done, that done. Story. Okay, because Jean completed this quest. So Jean approached the pirate ship and caught it with full sails. You manage to overtake the pirate ship fleeing with Dr. Edward on board. Only he can produce a cure for the plague. First Officer Scott asks you, what are your orders, Captain? Choose as a group. So that's us. We need to choose. Uh, we can board the vessel or we can open fire on the scurvy dogs and send them to Davy Jones's locker. What do you want me to do? Uh, if you want me to board the vessel, put board in the, uh, in the chat. Or if you want me to open fire, put the word cannon in the chat. So the two options are board or cannon. Let me know and we'll make this an interactive playthrough. So we have two choices uh, on the way that the storyline is going to evolve. I'm just going to have a drink of water while you're choosing. We've currently got four votes for cannon. <laughs> uh, oh, and now three votes for board. So it's four three. It's four, it's four all. Oh, five now for board. Stephen, he's just saying we need to rescue the doctor. Oh, which is why he's saying board. Six for, oh, it's suddenly swung. It started off all cannons, but now it, oh, it's evening up. Right, cannon, 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 cannon. Board, 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 board. Board, so six. That's the one. Board and board, right, it's eight, five in favor of boarding. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to board the vessel. Read number 12. Uh, number 12. It's interesting. So there's replayability within the campaign. It isn't a linear storyline. Okay, 12. You make ready to board the pirate ship fleeing with the doctor on board. You must be successful. Only Dr. Edward can produce a cure for the plague and save the Caribbean. Meanwhile, there are major storms brewing near Port Royal, which make travel difficult. Okay, so the next story tile goes on Santa Marta again. We have another quest on location six. And we need to take tile L2 as my legacy tiles. Okay. So L2 goes next to Port Royal. Where's L2? There. So L2 is going here. Oh, that's there. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's these little clouds on the board. So that goes there. Um, can you just see that? I've got a camera view set up. Yeah, you can see that. There you go. So that we, we now have storms here. Uh, rule, moving through L2 requires three movement points. Okay, so to move from there to there, Cost three movement points instead of one. Right, okay, that's nice. It just changes the board up a bit. Renee's got to disappear. Thank you very much for joining in. Keep an eye on Jean's quests. Yes. Or I could just get so far ahead that I'm not bothered about them. Right, okay. So the quest at Santa Marta is now just requires one combat point. So I probably need to do that. Yeah, probably need to do that. Right, we've done that. We are on round three. It is Jean's go first. Because I ended the... Yeah, I ended the round, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Right, Jean is moving one. So moves to Santiago. Uh, and drops a disc off. And gets two exploration points. And you jump over, don't you? 
Uh, if you can reach a quest, move to it and take it. Remaining steps are lost. Otherwise, take the shortest, so there's no reward. Right, okay. Done. My go. Right. We've got 13 money. We, we're all right. We're doing, we're doing good here. I do want to play the English Commodore. Um, but I need more money. Oh, no, no. It only costs seven to play the English Commodore. So I think I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go to Santiago as well. And I'm going to use my, this card here to provide the tobacco, which puts this disc on the board, which gets me an immediate three points. Great. And that's another upgrade. Uh, I get a worker. And I get to do one village action, and I'm going to play the English Commodore for a cost of seven. Okay, because this is an assistant on 16. So I have an assistant here. And when I visit my assistant, uh, I get three combat points and two influence in England. Right, so this is going to zoom up my influence in England. There are always cats on board ships to catch the mice. Don't sink the ship. Yes. <laughs> um, so I got a worker. I did the village action. I dropped that off. I've unlocked this. That is my third upgrade. Now, how many upgrades has Jean got? Jean's got four upgrades, so she's currently beating me in upgrades. She's currently beating me on quests, three to one, and she's currently beating me on the exploration track. So at the end of the game, I am currently set to lose 30 points. No, 40 points. Yeah, so I, I'm effectively 40 points behind because of this end game. In fact, 50 points behind because of that. I have three assistants, so I've completed that part of the quest. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. I've got three assistants. So I remove that, and I get three money and three points. One, two, three. But I've still not got six English cubes on the board. I've got five. We're almost there. I need to do some more quests, though. This is a fantastic game. This is so good. I know Great Western Trail is probably my favourite Alexander Pfister game, but... This is very, very close. And with the campaign mode, oh, I don't know. If you put me in a room and said, take, you must choose one of these, or your life depends on it, I probably would not be able to choose. <laughs> Just like, oh, I can, take from free, I can take for free now. So do I, do I now want another card? I don't think I want any of those. Let's start looking at what I need for the quests. Story quest is fine. I can do the story quest. What about this? Have I got two spyglasses? Right, I'm going to take the major harbour because that is a spyglass. There you go. Right. Who was that? That was me. Jean went there. I went there. We're done. It's Jean's go. Gloomhaven Digital. No. <laughs> Although that is very good as well. Okay. Jean is moving one, moving slowly. Uh, so Jean moves to here, uh, drops a disc off in the city, really doing that whole city thing here, and gets an influence in France. Okay, my go. We've got the two periscopes. I think we've got to do this, because otherwise Jean might do it. So I'm going to go whatever way round to here, it doesn't matter. Um, I am going to use these two, these two spy glasses, and I'm going to look at putting stuff in the planning area, but there's nothing I actually want yet. No, there isn't anything I want. So that quest is done. I get two money per uh, compass. I have two compasses, so I get four money, and I get a worker. There you go. But that is a second quest done. Oh, you're supposed to flip these this way up. There we go, because it looks nice. Right, so I get two new cards. Um, I would like to go to Maracaibo, and there isn't any sugar there, so I'm just going to take two cards up to the top of the deck. Jean must be up to something. Never seen a go so slow. Yes. Okay. Well, it is now Jean's go. We've had a couple of we have we've had quite a few ones, but we've, we've had quite a few twos as well. It is another one. So Jean moves another one. Uh, Skips that, skips that, skips that, goes to Maracaibo. 
drops off that, and then does a fight. So we're going to draw this, and it is this tile. So let's go through them. If she chooses the English, she gets minus two. So she's probably not going to choose the English. So for France, uh, it is five, six, seven. So it's seven for France. Spanish is five. And England is minus two. So it's definitely France. She's fighting for France and she's got seven. Now you don't spend those seven, do you? That's just, that's just to determine which one she fights for. So yeah, it's, it's France. It doesn't, it doesn't matter whether it's seven or 77. Um, and it goes in the lowest numbered city, which is here. And she gets two influence with France. There you go. Right, I think that's right. Done, done, done. Fought, did that, did that, did that, done. My go. Now, do I want to go to Maracaibo? Or do I want to go to Santa Marta? I think I want to go to Santa Marta and get this quest out of the way. So yeah, let's zoom forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. I use my combat point and I complete this story quest here. So I get two money. I get one influence with the nation of my choice. So I'm going to actually take, I'm going to take France. Uh, I get one point per compass, two points, and the story card has been done and at the end of the round we'll, uh, we'll move it on. Oh, assistant. He puts it in Maracaibo. Oh yeah, lowest numbered one. Thank you. Uh, I passed my assistant, so I get two points. I decided not to stop. Even though if I'd have stopped, I'd have got three money and six points. Yeah, never mind. I've rushed forward. I've done the quest. The important thing is I've now done three quests compared to three. So I'm now not losing the points for that. And I've also done three quests, which means I can remove that. I get two money and another two points. So I'm almost there at doing my career. I mean, I could do that now if I wanted to, but I'm going to wait. Because one more English cube on the board will effectively get me four points. Right. I think that's me done. I've got four cards in hand. Do I want to plan anything? I've got two books, the cards I don't want. I've got another card that would put me another assistant on the board, but it isn't actually uh, that beneficial to me. Apart from every time you pass an assistant, you get loads of points. So, yeah, and I've got plenty of workers. So what synergy tokens have we got? We've got the metal one. Is that helping at all? No, I need money. Money will allow me to get loads of these at the end. And in fact, the Citadel is going to be really good for me. If I can get my combat points up, that Citadel at the end of the game is going to be worth a lot of points for me. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to put anything in place. Is there anything there I really need? Hmm. No, I don't think there is. No, I'm all good. Jean's turn. Move two. Uh, is going around the top. So ignores this because there's nothing there. That counts as one. Oh, I guess Jean doesn't suffer this penalty. No. Can't do. Yeah, I mean, it probably says L2. It probably says Jean ignores L2. L2, Jean ignores these tiles, yes. Uh, so Jean has gone to here, um, drops off a disc. Look at these discs, she's really going for it in there. Uh, and then gets an influence in Spain. Okay, done. My go, what are we going to do? What are, what are we going to do? I, I don't have two maps. So the rule about passing your assistant, if I go this way round, is that passing my assistant? 
<laughs> Although I might actually go and see him. Uh, maybe not. I think I might go and just see my other guy. Because we like him. He's quite cool. Uh, two village actions. Yeah. Do I have corn? I do have corn. What were you, you were thinking about Cartagena? I thought about that, but it's just... It is another two discs off my board and it would be another upgrade. Which is quite nice. Yeah, because then I could actually change... I could actually improve this. Which gives me access to a different thing. Which is a whole, a whole host of things. Uh, and I do need the quest. Alexander's here. Hi. Thank you for joining in. Yeah, I do need the quest. What were you thinking of? Which quest are you thinking of? Quests. I know. Yes, quests. Uh, when you move from a lower number than the assistant to a higher number, it counts as passing the assistant. Right, okay. So the options are, yeah, the options are, go here and use this assistant, which is three combat points and two influence in England, which is not directly what we want at the moment. I could go to Cartagena, which would unlock another upgrade off the board. Oh, and Jean's got five upgrades. Yeah, she's zooming ahead with these upgrades. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to move one. I will use the missionary as corn, best use of a missionary, and I'm going to unlock that. And then I'm going to use this action, which is one combat point, and remove a disc. So that's that. So I've, got, I've now got four upgrades. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. Uh, do I want to take another card, or do I want to take one from the top of the deck? Um, yeah, we could go crazy with assistance. We could go really crazy with assistance. But no, I think I'm just going to take one from the... Oh, we've got Chase Pirates. I'll take that. I'm going to take the Chase Pirates card. Right, that's my go done. Beans go. Uh, Stephen didn't know about passing assistance. Can you add those points to your next game? Yes, absolutely. Cartagena. Yeah, not Cartagena, Cartagena. Thank you for the pronunciation. Right, Gene used all of your cards. Off we go. Yeah, Jean is... Jean has got five upgrades to her ship. I've now got four. So that's all right. She's not too far ahead. Definitely doing better than last game. Right, adventurer, two spaces. Doesn't matter. Jean goes there. Uh, can't do a city. Removes card two. I mean, she's got an extra card in her thing. And take a quest from the draw pile and get three victory points. Oh, no. That's a fourth quest and three victory points. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Right, my last turn. And what am I going to do? I think I'm going to do combat. I think I'm going to skip all of my assistants and do the combat. Yeah. People are shouting at me, quest. I can't do either of those quests. I have a book. You can't see this, but I have a book, a map, and two spy glasses. I cannot do either of the quests. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, passing two of my assistants. Gets me four points. And I'm going to get there. And I'm going to do a combat. Okay, so let's take this. Uh, before combat, I gain another point. And let's have a look at what we've got. We got this one. So I'm going to choose the English. It's four. That's fine. We've got four combat points. Now I have unlocked this ability here. I just need to read what that does because it's been a while. Uh, you have a new combat action available to you. Choose a village, not a city. If there is no ownership marker present, reduce the combat value by two. If there's already an ownership marker, reduce it by five. Place a marker from the nation you're fighting. 
and gain one influence with that nation. Take three doubloons for each assistant you have in that location. Okay, so that's what we can do. I've got four combat points. I'm going to spend two of it to put a cube in Martinique. No, Martinique's already occupied. Uh, two of it on here, La Ciba. So the English now have control of La Ciba. I get three money because I have an assistant there. Uh, and I get an influence with the English. So that's two combat points spent. And yeah, why not? Let's let's use two of my other combat points. So I've got four, and then I can put another cube on here, uh, here, and get a point. Right, so the English have now got seven cubes on the board. I have workers to sacrifice as well, but I'm, I'm keeping my workers for now. I have other plans for them. Yeah, there we go. And now that's another worker, and this is my career completely done. So I get four points and four coins for that. One, two, three, four, and four coins. And then I'm going to flip it over, which is another two coins and another two points. There you go. I am now an admiral. Da -da -da. Right. I think that's right. <laughs> I think that is how you do it. Okay, so I forgot one influence. Did I? Oh, I did. Yes, thank you. Um, right, so jeans go. You draw a card, but he's moving to there and ending the round uh, and takes card three. Card three. There. And two exploration points. So one, two. Has crossed the barrier. Now, is that just the first player that passes that barrier or everybody? I think that's everybody. So that's that done. And that ends the round. So. Buying a card or going up here. Because at this point, I think I'm going to take one of those. Yeah. Or do we buy another card? I don't really want any of these cards. Although the governor is quite nice. The governor, the governor is effectively nine points. And takes a synergy token that I haven't got. But I don't have anything that works with synergy tokens. Ooh. Tricky one. Tricky. Yeah, Barry is not for Jean. Oh. Am I going to be doing any more quests? I think I am. I think we might go for the Citadel. But I'm also tempted to go for the Governor. Okay, I'm going to go for the Governor. So it cost me 19. Wow, right? But the Governor gets me uh, four points up on this track. And five points at the end of the game. And I take a Synergy token that I don't have. I don't know. Which one, which one am I unlikely to get? Because I don't think these are going to... Oh no, I'm going to take the, the Anchor. Because I have a couple of cards in hand that could use the Anchor. Uh, and then presumably I, I draw back. Uh, we don't want to take that one. Do we want any of those? I need to now look at the quests. I need two maps and two books. So I'm going to take the Pioneer. That's that bit done. Income. I get 12 money and 8 points. So 12 money. Uh, 8 points. Put me on 47. Jean gets 5 plus 16. Wow, 21 points. Uh, putting it to 43. Still not as many as me. Don't get too excited, Paul, because you're about to lose loads <laughs> in the end game scoring. Uh, so we've done that, we've done that. We remove the discs. Okay, uh, done that. Story. The story progresses. Just as you make ready to board the pirate ship, a Spanish warship appears. It fires a warning shot across your bow. Since the pirates are sailing under a Spanish flag, the warship is helping them. 
You must break off the attempt. Did Porto Cabezas develop into a city? I.e. is Tile 1 on Field 17? Yes. Oh, so it's a branching storyline based on things that you've done before. That's very cool. Right, read 14. Okay, we are reading story card number 14. Chapter 3. The story so far. A plague rages unabated through the Caribbean. Dr. Edward, the only person who knows the cure, has been kidnapped by pirates sailing under a Spanish flag. You must find the pirates in order to free the doctor. You will need to buy some information about his kidnappers in Tortuga. So we need a story tile on Tortuga. Uh, and we need another quest. Oh no, only if it's three to four players. And we need to also read card 15 as well. Right, okay, so card 15. This is brilliant, this story. This is really good. All games should have this. Meanwhile, rumours swirl about a city of gold in the vicinity of Caracas. Place this card next to the new story card and add L12 to the game. If you end your movement there, before your main action, you may pay one map to move one disc from your ship to the tile. Once the tile is full, read the reverse of this card at the end of the round and in a two-player game only, add one disc from the general supply to the new tile. Okay, so we need tile L12, which is here. Ah, the City of Gold. So in a two-player game, one goes there. And I think there's something about that card in a solo game. Yes, L12. When one of these tiles enters the game, in addition to the two-player rule, take another disc from the box and adding it to the tile. There you go. Thought so. Awesome. So this is like a side, side story thing. Uh, how come the chat window has a new design? It's not just the chat window. I'm using completely different software. Um, yeah, it's, I've, I've scrapped XSplit because of 18 months of constant issues, and I'm now using Streamlabs, um, which comes with a... So yeah, I mean, everything else has been recreated the same, although I can now do this that I couldn't do before, not as easily. Um, but yeah, it also means the chat window is different. So, right. We've done all of this, move the cities, move, move the ships back, and it's me first, and we're now in round four, the final round of the game. I don't think I'm going to win this at the moment. At the moment, Gene is ahead on upgrades, ahead on quests, and ahead on the exploration track. Although I do have end of game points coming from my cards. Right, let's see how we get on. Do I want to go to Santiago or not? Oh, do we want to do this quest? Yes, we want to do this quest. So we're going to go to Tor Tortuga and buy some information about the kidnappers. Yeah, let's just do that. So we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to pay two money and we're going to, we're going to complete this quest. I gain four combat points. Uh, I gain one, uh, one, one point per compass, and I get the quest tile. There you go. Right, I've now got four quests completed. Uh, you want to unlock the three exploration on your board ASAP. Where's that? That's this one. That's miles away. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get that in time. Yeah, not sure I am going to get that in time. Because, do you need to do these in order? Or is it once you've done four, you can do either that one or that one? I think you might be right. I think I can do this one without having done this one. Can you get to time six for England? I'm going to try to, because that's going to be a lot of points as well at the end of the game. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few points coming in from here. It's going to be close. And I'm kind of not bothered about winning or not. It's, you know, I'm enjoying playing it. So, we've done me. It is now Jean. Oh, three victory points for the quest. Thank you. One, two. If it weren't for the chat, I'd get half of these rules wrong. Okay, Jean is going one, two. Drops that off in the city. And then in rounds, oh, and then loses another disc. And then in rounds three and four gets four points. It's a good card. 
That's the B card. Yeah. Wow. Right. My go. Are we going to go and visit our assistant in Martinique? Because that's going to get us six points. That's a nice amount of points. What about this? If you end your movement there before your main action, pay a map to move a disc. Okay, so that's, it's a map. I do have a map. It would be moving one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'd get two, I'd get two village actions. No, we need, hmm. As you say, we need to, oh, that should have come off. I need to unlock these discs off my board. Uh, space 10 would only help on the next game. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll leave Space 10 for now. Maybe we'll just go and visit my assistant. So yeah, we're going to go and visit my assistant, the innkeeper. Brenda, I think her name is. Or Barbara. I think, I think, I think her name is Barbara. So that was a reference for those who get it. Uh, I get three money, and I get two, four, six points. Six points, yeah. Six points. Okay, done. Do I want to plan any cards? Yes, I want to plan this one. Because I'm not going to play that from hand. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe I am. No, no, we'll plan it. Oh, there's Dr. Edward. Ooh. Yeah, because I, I then I'll take Dr. Edward to make up for it. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm gonna take Dr. Edward. Okay, right. Done that, done that, done that. Jeans go. Moving one. Uh, so ignores there, ignores there, ignores there, ignores there. I think also ignores there, which means Maracaibo. Yeah, I think Gene ignores L12. It's a shame that the legacy number is not printed on the front of the tile. So I have to keep looking at it quickly. L12. Yep, she ignores these tiles. So she goes to Maracaibo, drops another disc off, and then as a fight. Uh, right, okay, so let's just have a look at this. Look at this part of the board here. So here's the combat tile. So France is two, uh, three, four. So France is four, Spain is seven, and England is, yeah, it's going to be Spain. So she fights with Spain. Um, so she gets an influence with Spain. In fact, no, we're not fighting, are we? No, for some reason I thought it was fighting. It's it's not fighting. Chat is probably shouting at me saying it's not it's not fighting. Um, it's whatever it says on here. So we've done that, and then it's just one influence with France. Sorry, I got carried away. Then I thought she's going to Maracaibo, so she's fighting. It's not. It's just one influence with France, and I think I just moved me. Did I just move me? Yeah. Right. Okay. Sorry, getting a little bit flustered and tired. I think I need a jaffa cake. I'll have one in a minute. Done. My go. We want to go here, don't we? Oh, I don't have corn. Oh, I've messed it up. Oh, and it's here I wanted to go to. Can I get there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can. I can just get there. So yeah, we're going here. Okay, and I'm going to do the quest because there's pirates there. So I have a map and a map. I have double map. Uh, I, is the iconography difficult to learn? I don't think so. No, I think it's, I think it's fine. I mean, there's a lot of it because it's a, it's a heavy game, but with, it's all clear and you can see it and the arrows. Yeah, it's all good. So I'm going to deliver two maps to this quest. Okay, which gets me two points because of my two compasses. 
but also allows me to remove two discs from my board. So not only is that another quest that gets me two points, I can remove these two discs from my board, which is another upgrade, which is great for that end game points, and I get three exploration uh, moves, which is one, two, three, or I could go on the quest. Oh, this is working out well. Yeah, this is awesome. Right. Just want to check if I can take that one before that one. I think I can. Ship upgrades. Yeah, immediate effect. Choose one of the following three options. Either move your explorer three spaces. You can only remove discs from the area described once you remove both discs from at least... Oh, right, yeah, okay. Yes, we're good. I can do it. And I've moved over and I get, I believe, three influence with the same nation. There should be an equals to sign on there, if that's the case. And I think I probably said this last time. But I'll say it again. Um, exploring. Red barrier. Gain three influence with the nation of your choice. You cannot split it. So we'll go for three influence with the English. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, yes, I do get the barrier bonus. And yes, I can unlock that before that. It's basically these two areas you need to have four. So we did that and I'm going to do this quest, which is spend a worker because i got loads of them. You get two money per compass. So that's four money and four points. Two, three, four. And that is my next quest, which gets me another two points. That's out. That's now all starting to look good. I've now got more quests than Jean. I'm further ahead on the exploration track. I don't have as many upgrades. He's got two more upgrades than me, which is a 20 point bonus. But that, that's fine. That's fine. We're okay. That was a good turn. Yeah, that was a good turn. Right. What's Jean going to do? Plus two points for my assistant. Um. Oh, because I'm not using it. Yeah. Okay. Because I went to a place with an assistant that I didn't use. Right. Jeannie's moving one. And she's going around the bottom. So that's there. Okay. So she drops a disc off. And then does a fight. So let's have a look. No modifiers. It is... France is going to be two, one, two, three, four. France is four. Spain is seven. And England is, yeah, so it's going to be Spain. Um, so Spain, lowest numbered city. There isn't a lowest numbered city. So we go to the lowest numbered village, which is Petit Guave. There you go. So that's that done. And she gets two influence with that nation. Okay, my go. Uh, I'm missing cards in hand. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm missing cards in hand. But I th think I might want to end it. So I think these cards that I'm going to take don't actually matter. Except for end of game stuff. Because I'm probably going to play that at the end of the game. Oh no, I'm probably going to take the Citadel at the end of the game. Hmm. Jean might rush to the end. Okay, I think I'm going to take the two cards. Yeah, 17 is a city. Oh, yeah, 17 is a city. Yeah, that's right. I don't think I'm bothered about that quest. I think I'm going to go and visit my mate. What's his face? Derek. Yeah, Derek the mercenary in La Ciba. We're going to go and visit him. So we're going to sail past Puerto Cabezas and we're going to visit Derek. I get in one influence in one nation. Now I'm about to get influence in England anyway when I do the fight. So I don't need to do any fighting with England now. Although it's only, it's only going to put one cube. It's not, it's not going to help.
Yeah. I'll, st I'll, do, I'll do it anyway. One influence with England. And two village actions. So the first village action I'm going to do is to chase some pirates down. Um, so this is this is quite a nice card. It basically costs four combat points and gets me a whole load of bonuses. So I use four combat points. Uh, my income goes up by four. Uh, and my points income goes up by two because I've got the anchor synergy token. Okay, so that's that done. That was one of my village actions. I have another village action. Uh, can you claim one of these with a village action? I think you can, can't you? Village action, buy a card. You can invest in a prestige card instead. Yeah, so let, let's do it. Let's spend 19. And let's invest in this one. Because I've now got six quests. So that's 12 points. Uh, whereas this one is actually now only six points. So I think we're going to go for this one. Uh, and the first player to do it gets two points. And I get the crown synergy token. Not that that's going to do anything for me. There you go. Um, that's it. My go done. So now it is Gene. Movement two. So one. Two. Uh, remove a disc. And then gain an influence with Spain. Okay, that is Gene done. For me, I go to here. Now, I could explore, but exploring is actually not very good. It's only two spaces forward. So I think we might do a fight. Yeah, although I don't know what fighting is going to get me. I'll do it anyway, because we've got some stuff. So I'm going to choose a tile. So if I choose the English, I get minus two, but I get a point. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to choose the English. Uh, I've got three minus two, so I've only got one. I'll spend a worker for an extra one, so I've got two. And I put a cube and I'm going to put it on blue fields because that gets me one influence with the English, which is a waste. Um, so I should have, yeah, I knew I was going to do that. I've just changed my mind. With that guy, I've got that. That's what I would have done. I, I was thinking about that. Um, and I get three money because of my assistant. Yeah, I think that's right. Did I get the one point? Plus one. Uh, two VPs for every influence you would have received. Ah, oh, yeah, the end. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so yeah, I have two. Uh, and plus the one point for choosing the English, which I think I forgot to add on. Thank you. So there is a... There is a point. Oh, and you're saying she doesn't receive a... Yeah, you're right. When she goes there, you're absolutely right. It isn't placing a disc. It is getting card number one. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting tired. Got another game after this as well. <laughs> right, okay, that was her. That was me. So now it's Jean. Card is pretty much irrelevant in terms of movement because she moves to there. Uh, again, city. Can't place a disc, so takes card number three. Uh, and gets one influence in England. Okay, and then I go here and just get three points and then Jean finishes the game oh we're shuffling i also get a combat point for my card oh because i went into combat yeah i got a spare combat point okay the final card of the game for Jean is that she moves to there and she takes card number two which is that. And, oh, take a quest tile from the draw pile and get three victory points. That's unlucky. I drew the C card. Okay, we are 
Done. So we do this. Uh, I can buy a card or get two points. Uh, any card I buy is actually worth two points. So I might as well spend six money to buy a card and I'm going to buy... Um, we'll buy an Explorer <laughs> just so I've got four assistants. Uh, which puts another assistant on the board here. There you go. That is Brian. That's buying of the card. Now we do the income. No, I'll tell you what, let's not do that. That's a useless one. We'll, we'll have the quest hunter instead. Because what that does is it increases my income by four. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, uh, there's a question about setup. I'll get back to you in a minute. Find a card to get the first open one. All right. Too many things going on. Too many things going on. So we've done that. We're now doing income. So I get three points instead of the money. One, two, three. I get ten points for this. Uh, Jean gets eight points for that card in hand. And 24 points for this. Okay. So that's income points done. Prestige buildings. Uh, what's that? Both players can claim one or both, both players score one? I think both players score them. So I get 12 points for that. Uh, so that's 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the prestige building scored. Right, now, this is the bit that always confuses me. This is whoever's the highest on each of the tracks gets three points, I think. Well, I get six. Sorry, I get three. Gene gets six. Because Gene is, has got the highest in each of those. And then we do points based on all of this. But we have this first. So the maximum number of cubes on the board is England. England has the most. So England is worth two plus uh, and whatever's under here. I can't quite see it because I'm using one of these trays. Um, but it's basically two, three, four, five, six. So England is worth six and I am on time six. That's 36 points. So that puts me to there. Whereas Jean is only on times two, which is 12 points. Okay. Next number of cubes on the board is... Tied. Oh no, it's France. France has got two cubes on the board. So France gets the one, two, three. So France is worth three. I get three points. Jean gets nine points. And finally, the Spanish. Spanish is worth one. I get nothing. Jean gets two. Okay, that's the points for that. And that's it. It's fine. Scoring for the solo game. So Jean had. One, two, three, four, five quests, which is 25 points. Ooh. Uh, but I have more quests, so she doesn't get any bonuses there. Ship upgrades. Unfortunately, Jean has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ship upgrades. And I only have one, two, three, four, five. So does that mean she has two more than me? This might be the game over. This might be the loss. Oh, I thought I was doing so well. Um, where is it? Here we go. End of game scoring. Count how many spaces Jean emptied on the Automa board. Yeah. Compare that number to the ones you've upgraded. If she emptied more spaces than you, she scores 10. If she beat you by three spaces, it's 20. So she didn't beat me by three. She beat me by two. So it's 10 points. Are oh, you kidding? Oh, Spain has two cubes as well. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry, Spain has two cubes as well. So I need to do a recount on France. Thank you, because this is going to matter. This is absolutely going to matter. So if two players have got the least, if two nations have got the least, how do you determine that? Majority bonus. The nation with the most nation markers gets a majority bonus of two. In case of a tie, all tied nations receive the higher value. Two tied nations are for the first. Third player gets nothing. If all three nations are tied for the first, they all get a bonus of two. So, I, so Spain gets an extra one as well. So Spain wasn't worth one. Spain was worth two. 
which means that's another two points for Gene. Yeah, in case of a tie, all tied nations receive the higher value. I think that is it. Yeah, that last C card, that was a little bit unlucky. Uh, this deck of cards, not complaining, but this deck of cards here is five A's, one B and a C, and the C is the most powerful one. And that C card got her eight points. Nine points, yeah. Wow. What a close game. That was fantastic. This is a brilliant, brilliant game. I absolutely love it. And it's four o'clock. I'm going to play again, okay? Uh, I did want to finish at five today, but I'm not going to finish at five today. I'm going to, because I, I need to play through this whole campaign. I've started, so I'll finish. And although this is not a sponsored video, I haven't mentioned this yet, but this video, my playthroughs of this campaign, uh, is only made possible through the support of my Patreon campaign. Because this is basically me taking time off work, which I would be getting paid to do, in order to play this and produce content. And I'm very happy about producing content, but I'm only able to do it thanks to the financial support of the Patreon campaign. But I want to get two games in today because I want to play through the whole campaign. And if I don't play it more than I am currently playing, if I play one game a week, I'm going to be here in March. And I, I cannot afford to keep taking an entire afternoon off work. So I'm going to get two games in today. Right, off we go then. Oh, I didn't add up my cards. Thank you. Maybe I have won. Yes. Okay. We're, we're all right. We did win by a lot. Thank you very much, uh, Andrew and Ian and Ben, all shouting at me. Points. I've, I've won. Anybody who disappeared, who thought I lost? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 13, 16, 18, 21, 23. Boom. Easy. I won by 20 points. Okay. There you go. <laughs> So I did win. Uh, anyway, uh, and yes, no streaming issues is a, is, a, is a lot better. Right. This is fantastic. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm not going anywhere. I am now going to crack on and I am going to play the next one. I'm just going to have a drink of water. And if I have any Jaffa cakes here, I'll have a Jaffa cake. I don't. Right. Okay. I'm going to carry on. So we need to reset. So basically, uh, I'm pretending that I'm putting the whole game away back in the box. And we, we set it all up for the next game. Uh, so we're on chapter three and we're on game three. So at the moment, the chapters and the games are going nicely together. Um, but it's not necessarily always going to be that way. Like we could have started chapter three. Uh, we could have completed chapter three. In fact, I did complete chapter three. Yeah, wait a minute. I did. Okay, we get the next bit of the story as well. An informant on Tortuga tells you Isabella and her gang of pirates have taken the doctor. Isabella is holding him in a house in Bluefields. He has also been spotted with the Spanish governor Hernandez a fair bit. Okay, so we have two options again, and it's up to you. What do you want me to do? We can search for Isabella or speak to the Spanish governor. If you want me to search for Isabella, put in the chat, Isabella. If you want me to speak to the Spanish governor, put the word governor in the chat. Okay, so interactive playthrough, we have a choice. Where do we want to go as a campaign? Are we going to search for Isabella or speak to the Spanish governor? You have until I've set the game up to decide. Put the right here. Right, quests. Yeah, I'd forgotten I'd done that. So we might be on chapter four. Two, three, four. Oh, I need to leave those two on there. Right, let's put all of my discs back on, including the ones which stick in too much. Two, three, four. Uh, and yeah, following on from my comment about the uh, this video only made possible by the Patreon campaign, if you are in a position to be able to support me and you like the content that I make and you want to help fund the channel and have access to all kinds of other benefits, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. All support greatly appreciated. Um, 
Yeah. Because, yeah, as I say, the, the Patreon support um, last year was, was good. Uh, and I needed a break from a lot of my paid work. So, yeah, basically I decided to use the Patreon funds to fund me a month of doing playthroughs like this. And this is just one of many. If you're just tuning in to watch this video, I am doing 10 playthroughs a week at the moment. So what have we got in the chat? We've got... Uh, Isabella, Isabella, Governor, Governor, Isabella, a.k.a. Barbara, <laughs> Isabella, uh, Governor, uh, benefits, benefits do not include posted Jaffa Cakes. Well, they could. They absolutely could. I could do a free pack of Jaffa Cakes for every producer, which is basically, I will send you one pound to your PayPal address and you go and buy them from the shop because me sending you a pack of Jaffa Cakes is, is not worth the postage. Right, okay, quest tokens. Okay, so give these a bit of a shuffle. Right, it's quite hard to shuffle a very big stack of tiles. Do we still have this on the board? I guess we do. Right. Quest tokens have been shuffled. I'm going to put them in a big pile. Uh, we need to leave those on the board again. As before. We need to fill these up. How are we doing with the votes? We're at Isabella. Isabella on plus two, so it looks like we're going for Isabella. Right, so we're going to need a new career. Uh, we're going to have to sort out these decks as well. There is quite a bit of setup. It is going to be a few minutes. We need to do that. We need to do that. We need to do. Uh, Jean's other cards. Okay, right. Let's dish out some quests. So we need one there, and one there, we need one there, and we need one there. Might try and go down the exploration route this time, but it really depends. You can't, much like my uh, podcast that I did with Mike the other day, you can't decide fully before going into the game what you're going to do. I mean, I can't say right now, oh, I'm going to go exploration this game, because if all of the cards come out that lead me to a different option, I think what you can do with this game is you can make a strategy after you've seen your initial starting cards. But doing it before that, I think is quite tricky. I've got eight money. I'm missing two discs. Ah, there. I need two more discs. So it's still at Isabella plus two. Right, okay. Uh, oh yes, the influence cubes. You asked me a question about the influence cubes. So in a two-player game, Spanish start here, the English start here, and the French start here. That is for a two-player game setup, and in a solo game, um, you do that. Oh, I'm missing a disc there. Thank you. Well spotted. There you go. Right, okay. They can go there. Right, city tiles. Two city tiles. Mixed in with the two with the, with the ship's wheel on the back. Cube on the front track. Yeah, where's the French cube? There's the French cube. Okay, so that's them done. That's them done. We've got four cities. Yeah, and this adds to variability of the game as well. Different cities and in different locations. Right, okay, we need to do the prestige buildings again. There are eight prestige buildings in the game. And in each game, you use four of them at random. So I'm going to shuffle the prestige buildings together. And again, we're using a variant rule, which means they are all visible from the start of the game. It's definitely a rule I approve with. For those of you that know the kind of games that I play, I like to have, I don't like, I don't like end of game scoring cards to be revealed at the end of the game. I want to see them 
at the start of the game so that I can have a strategy. Right, okay. I'm going to up the difficulty level again because I don't mind whether I lose or not. So that we, we played on very easy the first time, I think. No, we played on easy the first time. Today we've just played on medium. I'm going to go on hard. So we need five A cards, two Bs, and one C. So where's the solo cards? Where have I put the solo cards? Solo cards are here. So I need two of the Bs and one of the Cs. Okay. So there's the A cards. You always use the A cards. Oh, is it four A cards? You don't always use all of the A cards, like I just said. No, it's five A cards. Unless you, I mean, I've got the first printing of the game. So unless it's changed, there was an update of the rule book. Okay, right, thank you. So we don't use all of these. One of these gets removed at random. I didn't realize that. So my table is wrong. So it's four A cards. Okay. Uh, two of the B cards. and one of the C cards. And we know the C cards are pretty powerful. There you go, right, so that's the solo deck done. That needs a shuffle. Right, combat tiles. Combat tiles are all here. Give these a bit of a shuffle, Move them up a bit. Put them into here. we go that's that done next the bit that does take the time is the big deck of cards so we have the uh, i need to sort them out into the dark bordered ones and the light bordered ones okay because you you always use all of the a's and all of the c's but you only use 40 of the b's uh, so again every game is going to be slightly different um and I need to take out all of the dark bordered ones and then basically shuffle all of them together because there's more than you need. Yeah, so much variability. Yeah, I'm starting to get peckish. I only had a cheese and cucumber sandwich for lunch because I did, I did. I finished my previous stream at uh, one o'clock, and then I had to get all of this ready, run to the butchers, have lunch, uh, and do something. And I just I just ran out of time, so I haven't had that much food for lunch. I'm going to be absolutely starving in a bit. Right, these are the B cards that we used for that particular game. There is this pretty much the same. Oh no, sorry, they're the A cards. Have I got this the wrong way around? Yeah, I got this the wrong way around. So the dark bordered ones are the A cards. The chat is probably telling me. <laughs> um, yes, we're having another. We are, we are having another one. So we keep the story ones. Oh, that should be there. So yeah, the dark bordered ones are the A ones. We use all of them and we use the story ones. And then we take out these, of which there should be 40. Is that right? You keep your cards in sets of 20. Yeah, that's a good idea. Two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, that's 40. So we shuffle all of them together. So yeah, this is how many cards there are in the game, the B cards. And these all get shuffled together. And then we basically pick 40 of them and shuffle it in with them. Right, so we have the informant in Tortuga, we've done, and we're going to search for Isabella. That's what the group has decided we're doing. So off we go, we're going to search for Isabella, who is apparently a pirate that has captured Dr. Edward. Right, you search for Isabella's house. It seems to lie a little out of the way. A good map would help. In the meantime, the plague has spread to Santa Marta. Oh dear. Right, we have a story-based quest at Bluefields. 
uh, and we need a quest only in a four player game there and we need tile L22 okay the plague is spreading L22 is there okay so plague here plague here and a plague here uh, so in order to sort that quest out there we need a spyglass and a map okay right and we need a career card and then we need our eight cards but our eight cards come from the a's i believe uh, what's the simplest way to keep up with the story cards you've done so far put them in a separate bag um i'm putting them back in the stack because uh, it, it kind of doesn't matter it tells you which one to take so i'm just keeping them all in a pile uh, and i'm putting them back so yeah your starting eight cards i believe come from the a's I don't think they... Do, do the C's get shuffled in? Let me just check. Separate the project cards. If you wish to continue the campaign, shuffle the C cards in with the A cards. Shuffle the A cards and B cards separately. And do, yeah, okay, so we get... We get eight cards from this pile. Which includes the story cards. Okay, so I get eight from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then these get shuffled in with these. <laughs> yep, lots of shuffling. Uh, and then what happens is we deal out four into the display. Yeah, obviously if you've got multiple people helping set up the game, that reduces the, play, that reduces the setup time. But with this amount of variability, you're just going to have this. It's just you know, one of those things. They are working on an app for this, which will be fantastic. Um, I'm hoping to get a sneak preview of it, but they seem a bit reluctant to, to share it at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm, as I say, one of my favorite games, this is really good. And a digital asynchronous app for this or built-in campaign mode, this would be fantastic. Really good. Uh, Sean is saying he thinks the C cards get shuffled in after the initial hand was dealt. Yeah, um, it, it, in the rule book, it mentions it beforehand. It says shuffle the C cards in first, but then it says you draw eight cards from the A's. So I think it means also includes the C's. Right, there we go. We are almost done. If anybody's been timing that, then that is how long it takes to reset up the solo game again right let's have a look at our cards we have the minster which is the same one we had last time points for synergy tokens we have the basilica oh that would have been good last time uh we have the academy and we have the palace okay the four starting cards in the offer are chase pirates patron aristocrat uh, and a legionnaire okay uh right and because i'm really hungry i'm just going to mute my microphone and eat some nuts Right, you don't want to hear me munching. Um, okay, so I will get a sneak preview of the app. Brilliant. The reason I want a sneak preview of the app is not so I can play it, it's so that I can help spread the word. Because um, yeah, as soon as I get a sneak preview, I will do a, I will do a live stream of me playing through the app. Uh, or maybe I won't do it live. Maybe I'll pre-record it and I'll send it to the developers first because obviously if, it, if it's a sneak preview, it's, it's likely to have bugs. And I don't want to do a video showing all of the bugs. So maybe, you know, if I get a sneak preview, I'll do a video. And then if it plays okay, uh, you know, I can, then, I, can, I can then put it out there. Right, okay. Let's have a look at our two careers. And our eight starting cards. 
Okay. Two careers that we have are wealth and English. Aren't they the ones that we just had? <laughs> I think they're the two that we just had a minute ago. Right, so I'm not even going to look at my other cards. I'm going to choose wealth just so we're doing something different. But there are plenty in there and I got the two same ones. Okay, so that is our career. We are trying to get synergy tokens and influence in two nations. So yeah, I'm going to play this a different way. Um, okay, Sean learned something new today. That's, that's, yeah, that's another good thing. Every time I do a live stream, somebody watching it realizes they got a rule wrong. In fact, yeah, I did, um, what was the live stream I did yesterday? Red Cathedral, solo, last night. Uh, and a couple of friends who've played it loads solo were in the chat and it turns out they'd been doing something wrong. So let's have a look at our eight cards. We have Dr. Edward. How, how have we got Dr. Edward when he's been kidnapped? But anyway, we've got Dr. Edward. Uh, he's pretty good because he's got a permanent herb, or herb if you're watching this in America, but he increases income and victory points by two. So if we can get him out early, that's really good. Um, might put that there. Yeah, might put that there. Um, now, we want synergy tokens. So, I think, oh gosh, look at these. They've all got synergy tokens on. <laughs> yeah, we've got loads with synergy tokens. So we have the harbour that gives me the, in fact, we've got two harbours. That are almost identical apart from the object. So I'm going to take one of those and discard the other one. We've got a Conquer Village, um, which has got that icon on. And we have a Mercenary, which has got that icon on. In fact, there's two Mercenaries. So I'm probably going to take one of the Mercenaries. Um, and it will be this one. So we're going to take that Mercenary. We're going to take that Harbour. I'm going to discard those two. So we're discarding three, aren't we? Yeah. We're planning one. Uh, and that's the one we're planning. I'm discarding three and I'm keeping four. I'm keeping that one. And then Pioneer or Sailor. Let's go with Pioneer this time. Okay, so there's my hand of cards. Uh, we've got that. And I think we're ready to start. Have I done all of the setup? I think I have. Right, what's our strategy going to be is to collect synergy tokens. If that's a strategy. <laughs> or more like it's just a thing that I want to do. Uh, oh, and three workers on here. The bit I always forget. This time I remembered. Okay. We're all good to go. My turn. What am I going to do? Am I going to skip Santiago? Am I going to zoom ahead and go somewhere else? <laughs> One combat point. Yeah, done that. Because I've got cards in my hand and I don't want to use any of them. We could go for something a little bit different and actually just move seven right at the start of the game. Just move seven spaces and get three village actions. Like Caracas. Can we get there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I can't quite get there. Ah, it's a bit too far away. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing is just zooming ahead and playing some stuff. Playing some stuff early. Like the mercenary. Hmm. Let's have a look at the cards. Or oh, we could do that and that and that. Ah, uh, the chase pirates is, is tempting. If I take the Chase Pirates, I'm going to have to lose the Pioneer. That's fine, because I wasn't really bothered about the Pioneer anyway. 
Um, so we're going to move one, two, three, four. We are going to use the sugar on the Pioneer to deliver a disc. Now, I might go for something different this time. Um, yeah, I might go for the one that gives me bonus village actions, just, just to be a bit different. So that's going to go on there, and I get three combat points. Up to four combat points. And then I'm going to replace my hand, and I'm going to spend one money to buy Chase Pirates. There you go. We're done. We're off. Uh, Jean, first card is move one. So she moves to Santiago uh, and drops a disc off on Santiago. And then we have a fight. Plan. Oh, yes, plan. You get swords, you can chase place to. Yeah, yeah, planning. I'll do it next time. <laughs> I've forgotten this stuff, but you're absolutely right. I should be planning these cards because I actually want to uh, I actually want to play these cards. So yeah, I do want to plan them. Anyway, Genie's having a fight. Uh, the bonus at the top is irrelevant because everything is the same. Uh, and everything's the same here. So basically she chooses the one with the most, which is England. So Genie's fighting for England. Uh, puts a disc on the lowest numbered city, which is Santiago and gets to be influenced with England. <laughs> yes, right, my go. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and get two village actions. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh look, it's a, it's a lost city of gold. Before you end, if you end your movement here, before your main action, you may pay one map. Oh, I've gotta pay a map. I don't wanna pay a map. Mm. It's tempting though, isn't it? It's very tempting. If I pay a map, that's the harbour. I'm then going to have to look for another harbour. Or there's the mercenary. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the mercenary. Change of plan. We're going to get rid of the mercenary. We're going to use the map on the mercenary to put a disc. There you go. That's one ship upgrade already. And that's before my main action. So I get two village actions. Um, am I playing a second game? Yes, I am. So my first village action is to play Chase Pirates. The three swords. So that's going to go into play. That gets me three money income. One, two, three. Uh, and if I had a harbour card, <laughs> which I don't. Um, and then my second village action is to... Oh no, I do have a harbour card. Yeah, I just can't afford to play it yet. It's to take a money. Okay, and then... I'm going to draw from the deck. Because I don't want to go down the fighting route. Okay, I'm going to draw one from the deck. Is it corn? It's not corn. Uh, so I'm going to pay one money to take uh, the patron. Oh, I do need to fight though, don't I? Because I need influence and stuff. Yeah, okay, right. That is my go done. Uh, Jean's go. Jean moves two and he's going around the top. So ignores that. So one. Oh, wow. Is it all the way to Maracaibo? It is. So he places the disc on the city and gains one influence with Spain. There you go. Done. My go. We're going to go to Cartagena. Just get more upgrades off my... Uh, of my thing, or do we go exploring? I need money. I desperately want money um, because that will allow me to then play the harbor, which will actually boost that, or play Doctor Edward. I think I want to play Doctor Edward. Um, yeah, sneaky Jean. <laughs> 
I think I want to play Dr. Edward. But I do like getting... I want to do everything. Oh. Where's the story? Story is... Spyglass and map. I have a spyglass and a map, and it is spare. Yeah, okay, I might do it. The spyglass and the map are on the two cards that I picked up that I don't want. So if we go one, two, three, four, five to here, I complete the story quest. So spyglass and map, we've completed that. I get one influence with one nation. I'm gonna take it on the English. Uh, I get two money. I get one point per compass, so that's one point. Uh, and I get the story tile. There you go. So I need to remember, I need to turn that sideways to remember I'm doing something at the end of the turn. Uh, yeah, that would have got me five coins if I'd have gone there. Yeah, you're right. Never mind, we're done. Draw two cards. Now, what do I want now? Do I want Perto Cabezas? Because if I can do that quest, that is pretty awesome. That, that is, what's this? That should be on there. Uh, yeah, that, that is pretty good. That is another upgrade, if I can get that that quickly. But that requires me to have two maps. Yeah. Okay. What have we got up there? I don't really want to be spending my money too much. So I'm going to draw. Yeah, I'm going to draw. We have a Spanish galleon. Okay, and we have a quest hunter. Okay. Jeans go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. I might do that next time. Jeannie's moving two, and she's going around the bottom. So ignores that one and two. So she drops off a disc, doesn't do the quest, but instead gets an influence in England. It was all the rage last time about England. Not anymore. Uh, that's it for Jean. So me, I've unlocked this, so I could move two and do two village actions. But I'm going to go. I'm going to rush to the end. So I'm going to go here, and instead of doing combat, although I do need to do combat because I need to get influence in two nations. The best way of doing that is combat. I'm actually going to use the exploration points and I'm only going to use one exploration point. I'm going to go there to get three money. I'm being really, really inefficient. But that's what I'm doing. Uh, do I want to put any cards into my planning area? I do. I'm going to put the harbor into my planning area and I'm going to put the Uh, conquer village into my planning area. So they are the three cards in my planning area. Okay, which means I get to draw two new cards. I can afford to spend a couple of money if there's something there that I really need. There isn't. So I'm going to draw. I'm looking for a medal. We've got Jaquette de, de, de La Haye, and we've got a Master Builder. Right. Okay, Jean. Yeah, this is going to be a very different game. Jean moves two, but doesn't. Jean just moves one. Uh, and then takes card number three. So Jean has... Oh, they should be there. Jean has one card in hand. Um and then takes a quest from the pile. Okay, so that's, that's one of the B cards. 
Okay, so that's quite a powerful one as well. Right, my go, I move to there, I get three points, and that's it. Round is over. So we can now play a card. So I'm going to play Dr. Edward for 10. So Dr. Edward for 10 comes into play, uh, increases my income by two, and increases my victory point output by two. And that gets replenished. We then do income, so I get 13 money and two points. That's not a bad income already. Uh, and Jean gets one, two, three points. Okay, we remove the discs from the cities. And we replenish the display. That sounds like a cat. We may have a cat on the table in a minute. Oh, a major harbour. Ooh, very fancy cards. Yeah, I love the fact that there's so many cards in this game. There's so many different options. Um, done that, done that, done that, done that, done that. Story, right. So we visited Isabella. Is that what we did? Yes, we searched for Isabella's house in Bluefields. You finally manage to find the house of Isabella, leader of the pirates. You hope to find a clue as to where Dr. Edward has been taken, but the house is empty. <laughs> Since she has been sent, seen in the company of the Spanish governor recently, you decide to speak to him instead. Okay, so it was the governor. I knew it. Spanish governor. You ask for an audience with the Spanish governor, Hernandez, but his secretary waves you away, saying, His Excellency is extremely busy, but if you bring him a pair of cartograph cartog cartographically accurate maps, he might squeeze you in. Right, story 19. And another quest on 16. Right, oh, and we need to add card 93 to the discard pile. Right, so we've got another... Another card being added to the game. This is Spanish Governor Hernandez, not his secretary. Very disappointing. Right, and if we go there with two maps, we get two influence with the Spanish, the money, and the quest tile. Right, okay. Awesome. We're done. Round two. I, I ended the turn, so it is Jean to go first. Right, Jean is moving two. This is a C card. Uh, she's going around the top, so one, two. Then she's gonna put a disc on the city. Uh, and she gets four points. One, two, three, four. And, if you, uh, and then three explorations. So one, two, three. Okay, that is Jean. Done. My go. Right. W what's our plan now? <laughs> uh, we can't quite afford the harbour, but if I move to a village, if I move five spaces to a village, we can. I'd like to go here and do this. Uh, and that would be a map. So, yeah. Now I could do that. Why is this? This should be on one, I think. Um, yeah, I don't currently have a map here, so, in fact, I don't want any of these cards in my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move five. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five to San Juan. Because I've moved five, I get to do three village actions. My first village action is to throw all of these cards away and get two money. Okay, my second village action is to gain one money. And my third village action is to play the harbour. Is that what I want to do? 
really what I want to do? Yeah, go on. Got to do it at some point. So we built a harbour. That gives me the port synergy token, which means my... I need these. That's what I need. Um, that increases my victory point output by two. Yeah, the harbour on its own is actually quite a weak card. Um, but the harbour, once I get the other, the other synergy tokens, will be really good. So, yeah. And I now don't have any cards in hand. So at the end of my turn, I'm drawing four new cards and hoping to get a map. Uh, and there's no maps on the display, so I'm just going to draw four cards. Erect Fort, Quest Hunter, no maps so far. No, still no map. There are two cards in the open display that you'd want. Uh, not seeing where, maybe Chase Pirates. Oh, in fact, yeah, Chase Pirates in the branch office. Oh, in fact, any of these because I've got the harbour, would actually be really good. Yeah, let's go for, let's go for this one. It's gonna cost one money, but you're right. Let's, let's take that one. Um, and then I, I will plan it next turn. Right, that's my go done. That card gets replenished. It is now Jean's go. Jean uh, is moving two. Ignoring, 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 so that's one. And then round the bottom, which is two. So Cartagena. Uh, city, put a disc on the city. And get four points. And uh, he's doing a lot of exploring in this game. So one, two, and gets the quest. If you can reach a quest, move to the field and take it. Yes. Okay, so that's two quests she's got already. Nice, nice, well done. Um, my go. I've got one money. I need more. I need lots more. We could go to Maracaibo and do some fighting. And that will get us some money. Yes, let's do that. Um, so, yeah, let's go. Where am I? I'm here. One, two, three. Oh, no, four. Have I got a map? I don't have a map. Oh. Okay, five. We're going to go to Maracaibo. We're going to use the... We're going to use the captain's... The captain's sugar to put a disc on the board. Um, uh, I'm going to do the one that increases my hand size. I'm just going to do different stuff than I've done before. Uh, and then we're going to have a fight. So we take a tile. Uh, now, what's the current situation? Is the English are ahead? So if I choose the English, I get two points less. So I'm not going to choose the English. I'm going to choose the French. Uh, and I have five combat points with the French. Which, I tell you what, I'm not going to put a disc on the board. I'm just going to use those five points to gain two influence. Although if I put a disc on the board, I get money. Oh, decisions, decisions. So five. Okay, supplemented by one is six, which is going to be a, an influence with two, and then put a disc on the board, uh, put a cube on the board for the other four. We'll put it there and we'll get three money. There you go. Okay, that's that done. Uh, replenish my hand. Is there anything I want there? Well, there is a map, but I've got time. What do we want to do next? Go here. Could go here. Absolutely go here. It is a, it is a quest. Hmm. It's a shame that none of these quests need herbs because I've got I've got to Re Dr. Redwood, uh, who is a herb. Sean's got to drop off. Yeah, catch the end in a bit. Cool. Um.
Yeah. Okay, I am going to pay one for a map. Because I'm going to need maps at some point. There you go. So that gets replenished. Right, jeans go. One movement. So move to here and accomplishes this quest. That's three quests already. It's it's running away from me. Okay, my go. Uh, I could go five. Get too many, but do I want to explore? I don't have any corn. I mean, I know you don't need the corn, but. Oh, yeah, that's a low key. Hello? Is it, is it TV time? Come on. Come here, you. Come here. Here you go, look. Playing Maracaibo. It's your favourite game. Now, you're not going to walk over there without knocking over loads of stuff. So you can stay here. Look at the camera. Okay. There's your adoring audience. Not interested. No, 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 no. Anyway, this is Loki. Yeah, you're not sure what to do with yourself, are you? <laughs> you go down there and chew some cables. Um, no, please don't chew the cables. They're expensive cables. What am I doing? Hmm. Not sure what to do. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just go here and get two village actions. But that's just too many. That seems a waste. <sighs> this game's going to go quick. This, this is going to be a quick game, he says, slowing things down by deliberating. Yeah. How am I going to get influence with two nations for the end of the game? I'm not. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. I get three village actions. Before I do any actions, I'm going to put chase pirates into my planning area. Problem is, if I use these to put in my planning area, I can never use them for objects or resources. That is the problem. That is the problem. So this is probably really inefficient, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take so three village actions, take a money, take a money, and then throw all my cards away for two money. Yeah, not doing this at all well. Uh, take, and then I replenish my hand size at the end of my turn. And is there anything there that I want? There isn't. So I'm just going to take one, two, three, four cards from the deck. Plantation owner, priest, shipbuilder, and another conquer village. A slightly more expensive one that does the same thing. Yeah, roughly the same thing. But it's a map. That's the important thing. Right, Jean. Uh, Jean has used all of the cards, so we're going to reshuffle around. What round is this? Is this round two? Yeah, I think this is round two. How do you know what round you're in? There's got to be a way of tracking the rounds, surely. Yeah, I don't know. How do you track the rounds? The genie's moving too, so it ignores that and. Oh, it's a quest. Forgot about the quest. Yep, forgot about the quest. So she takes the quest. Oops. Right, okay. So that's that quest done. Uh, and then me. In a three to four play game, it's easier to explore. Yes. Yeah, surely there has to be a way of, uh, you put a disc on the prestige cast to track it. Oh, of course, yes. 
Now, normally you wouldn't reveal all of the prestige cards at the end of each round, but are we on round two? Is my question. I have lost track of what round we're on. I think we're on round two. Uh, yeah, there's no other way to track it if you're playing with the variant rule. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so it's me. Um, I'm just going to go two spaces to there. Yeah, this is round two. Okay. Yeah, when you always make the plot quest, you can't see the number. Yeah. So I'm going to have two exploration points, and I get one money. Do I want to do that? No, that's rubbish. No, let's do a fight. Let's have a fight. Um, because the fighting is going to get me at least some money, and I need influence. So we're having a fight. Um, so if I choose the nation which is in the lead, there are two nations in the lead, so there isn't any one particular in the lead. So I could choose France for five, Spain for four, or England for three with a point. So let's choose France. So I've got five combat points. Uh, again, I will spend a worker to make it six, which is two influence and a cube on the board, which I will put here for two money. Okay, there you go, I've got a second fight. Um, so how much, I've got four influence with France. Okay, I need four influence in two nations or six influence in two nations for the bonus. Right, okay, done. Uh, Jean. Jean is moving one, yep, yeah, she's moving one. And then she takes card number four. Can't place a disc. So Jean now has two cards, replenished. And Jean has a fight. So, uh, France is now in the lead. So if she chooses France, it's zero, it's minus two, so it's not France. If it's Spain, she got, five, she got six with Spain. Uh, and England is five. Yeah, because the tile's got a four on it for England. Plus two, minus one. England is five, whereas Spain, she's got one, so it's Spain. So she's fighting with Spain. And this goes on the lowest numbered available city, which is Maracaibo. Okay. And she gets two influence with Spain. Right. My go. I move to here, get three points, and trigger the end of the round. Okay, so we can now both play a card if we want to. I've got two, four, six, seven, eight. I've got nine. Is there anything that I can play for nine that's actually going to help me? Yes, there is. I have a ship builder. Okay, so I'm going to play my ship builder using this worker and six. Because the ship builder gets me a synergy token. That I don't have, but because I've got it, I gain four points extra on there, which is pretty awesome because I'm now building ships regularly. Okay, and that is an assistant on space number two. There, Iguav. Okay, so that's what I did there. Then we do income, so that's 13 money and eight points. Okay, and Jean gets four plus two, so Jean gets six points. Oh, both on the same points. Uh, the discs come off the board. There, there, there. Uh, we replenish the display. All of these lovely cards disappear. Yeah, I mean, there's no way I'm going to get through that deck in a solo game. <laughs> All new cards. Uh, the story was complete, so we read the next bit of the story. Um, so yeah, so Jean went for the audience with the Spanish governor, uh, brought him a pair of cartographically accurate maps. You ask about his association with Isabella, the pirate leader. He angrily answers, I don't deal with such unsavoury characters, but I do have an assignment for you, he says in a Spanish accent. 17. Okay, so card number 18 is next. The Spanish governor says, bring some important um, cargo to Cartagena 
and be certain of the friendship of the Spanish crown. In the meantime, the storm around Port Royal has finally abated. Remove tile L2 from the game. Uh, we have a quest on space 7 in a, in a 2 to 4 player game, which is not. And we need to add tiles L25 and L13. All oh, right, so L13 comes on here. Okay. And L25 is here. I love the way this board is evolving. Okay, so that's made that slightly more valuable. That seems a little bit of a, a minor thing. Uh, in a two-player game only, add one from the general supply to L13. And then in the solo game, you add another one. The story continues until... Uh, the story only continues once someone completes L13 or reaches L25. As usual, read the reverse card at the end of the round when this happens. Okay. There you go. So, right, so what's this? You need herbs and money. You get influence with the Spanish. Yeah. Okay. We're done. That was round two. So we're now on round three. I'm going to put that on there to track that we're on round three. Uh, and it is Gene first because I started, because uh, I finished the round. Did I get me three points? I think I did. Right. What is Gene going to do? Round three. How are we doing for time? Yeah, we're probably going to be closer to half five, I think. Half five, quarter six. Gene moves one. Uh, puts a disc onto Santiago and explores twice. One, two. Done. Me. I'm missing a card. <laughs> I should have drawn a card. Let's just draw one from here. Right. I have a map, so that's good. So I can finish this. But is there something else I want to do instead? I could go and visit my assistant. My assistant gets me a combat, removes the thing, and does two village actions. That's pretty good. But Santiago might be better for me to start with. Although, I do like two village actions. Because that's money. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. I want to do so many things. And I've, I've done this middle bit of my career card. I'd like to do it a bit more. I'd like to play that. Would like to play that. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move two spaces and I'm going to go and visit my ship builder in Petit Guave. If I gain a combat point, I can remove a disc. So I'll remove that disc. So my hand size is now six. Uh, and I get two village actions. And with the first village action... I'm going to play... Oh, this works. These synergy tokens are synergizing. Who'd have thought it? Yeah, I'm going to pay 13. And I'm going to put a carpenter into play. So when I put a carpenter into play, I may immediately remove a disc. I've removed those two. So I'm going to remove that one. Uh, and... If I've got that, which I do, this goes up by four. One, two, three, four. And if I've got that, which I don't have. Okay, so that's all right. I'm all right with that for now. Uh, then I'm going to replenish. Oh, no, well, that was my first action, wasn't it? I get two village actions. That was my first action. Second one, do we just throw all of these away to get two money? And then hope to draw a map. Yeah, I'm going to throw them all away to get two money and hope to draw a map and uh, sugar. <laughs> oh, and my hand size is six. So yeah, I'm drawing six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's hope we get loads of good stuff. We have a ruin. It's a card I've not seen before. Major harbour, priest, missionary, pinnace and council. I've got a map. I don't have any sugar. Never mind. Right, 
That's me done. Jean. Jean is moving two. Going around the top. So doesn't count one. It's all the way to Maracaibo again. Because there's nothing along here. She just ignores these completely. Uh, drops a disc off at Maracaibo. And then gets four points. One, two, three, four. And, oh, it's round three. So it gets four exploration points. And can reach the quest. So it does. Oh, I've totally lost this game. <laughs> totally lost this game. Yeah. He's so far ahead of me on everything at the moment. Um, right, my go. One, two, three, four, seven. Yeah, let's do it. Let's zoom ahead. We'll go seven. We land here. So before my main action, I am going to use this map. To put a disc from my ship onto here. Uh, once the tile is full, read the reverse of the card at the end of the round. Okay, so I've done that. And because I moved seven, I've got three village actions. Um, so, do I really want any of these cards? I mean, that council is really nice. Yeah, I probably want to keep that. Because I'm going to be playing this card, and then that card synergizes with that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there first. I'm going to plan council, and then I'm going to take two money as my first two actions, and then throw my whole hand away for another two money. And then draw a hand of six. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Oh, and because I've unlocked this, I actually get two extra combat points. Yeah, I need to remember that. The chat's gone very quiet. I assume people are still watching. But just pop something in the chat to let me know. So yeah, that's, that's a tricky one now. So for one village action, I threw my hand away to got two coins. May have been better not to do that and just take one coin in that. Okay, chat is working. Thank you. Um, chat is not working. <laughs> no, the chat is working. Right, I got loads of new cards, including some that I've never seen before. There's a lot to read here. And I've drawn another council. So I didn't actually need that one because I've drawn another one instead. Never mind. Right, okay, we're done. It is now Jean's go. Uh, Genie's moving two and going around the top. So one, two. So Jean drops off a disc at the city and then takes a quest and gets four points. Oh, this is insane. One, two, three, four. Yeah, totally lost this one. My go. Are we going to go to here and we're going to do this? Story continues until somebody completes L13 or reaches L25. I mean, that gets me one influence with the Spanish, which I don't need. Maybe I'll just ignore that. The, the explore, exploration track, I'm so far behind. That's going to be very difficult to catch up. Um, what have we got in terms of quests? Can I, can I get any quests just to try and catch up? I don't think I can. No going to be really tricky to get any quests done. Uh, I mean, I, I do have the two maps. But I want to play the council. How much money have I got? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Do we want to go to Maracaibo and fight for the English? No. So I'm just going to go one two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got three village actions. I'm going to take three, mo three money and three, three of those. There you go. 
So I'm just doing that three times. Because now I can play a card with with that. Yeah. Okay, done. Gene, I'm I'm sort of playing really badly. Yeah, Jean-Luc Picard is running away with it, definitely. Uh move two. So move to there and stops. Uh takes card number three. And then four exploration points. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. She's really exploring. The cards that I've drawn uh, randomly at the start of the game has determined that Jean is, is definitely doing a lot of exploration. Right, my go. Um, I move to here and I'm going to do combat. Yeah. Right, so. Where are we looking at the board? We've got France has got three cubes on. So if I choose France, I get minus two. It's fine. I didn't want to choose France anyway. I'm going to choose England. So I've got four combat points. That's fine. I'm not going to boost it. I'm just going to put four combat points. That's going to go on there. I get two money and I get an influence with England. Right. Done. Uh, Jean is next. We draw a card. We move to there. Uh, Jean gets card number three, which I should have put on there. That goes there. That goes there. And gets an influence in England. Right, and that's the end of the round. Well, that was a quick round. Where did I get the fancy coins? These are the actual Maracaibo metal coins. So these are the ones from the game itself. Um, if you bought the metal coins add-on, they don't come with the basic game. So right, end of the round. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put us in Havana now before I forget. So I can play a card or get two points. I got five, ten, got fourteen money. So I can play the Chase Pirates. Yeah, I'm gonna play the Chase Pirates card. So it costs me six of my combat points. Uh, it increases my money income by four. And it, because I've got the Synergy token, it increases this by four as well. do like the Synergy tokens and the way they work in this game. It's a really clever way of representing combos of cards. Right. So now we do the income. I get 21 money and 12 points. It's also weird how this game has gone very different from the last one. Oh, I didn't pay for that, did I? I probably should pay for it. What was it? 13? Uh, so instead of getting 21, I'll just get 8. There you go. Right, so we've done that, we've done that. Remove the discs. Uh, reveal the next card, so we're now going to move on to round 4 and reveal the story cards. So that one hasn't been done, but this one has. Because I completed this uh, City of Gold. Thing. Your search for the city of gold came up empty. Ooh. But you did find a native city. Remove the now full tile L12 from the game and add tile L4 to the game. Wow. Gosh. Where's this going? Oh, right. It goes here. Oh, I've got to show you this. And it goes there. So what's changed? Only players whose explorers have reached the city can visit or conquer it. Ah, so there's another city here. And you've got to have got to here? Is that, is that where it is? There's a, there's a kind of line there. So, yeah. Only players who have explorers have reached the city. Yeah, it must be there. Probably says on the back of the rule book. Uh, anyway, cool. That was the hunting the city of gold side story. Adam's here. Hi, Adam. Thank you for joining in. Uh, ref round marker isn't the scroll to the left of the scenario card. Round marker may be wrong. Yeah, signal. So yeah, so. Um, yeah, what we were saying earlier on is you're, you're supposed to only reveal one of these each round, and then that, that tells you what round you're on. 
Uh, whereas what I'm doing is I'm revealing them all at the start of the game. So I'm using this disc to track what round we're on. Uh, but that's it. We, we are done with all of that and we are ready to start the last round of the game. And it's me first. Right. How am I going to recover from this terrible situation that I'm in? Because right now, let's look at the points. Jean has one, two, three, six quests, which is 30 points plus an extra 30 points because she's got way more than me. So that she's 60 points ahead of me on quests. Upgrade, she's got four, I've got three. So that's not too bad. Exploration track, she's so far ahead of me on the exploration track. That's another 30 points. So I'm, I'm about... 80 points behind. I do have my cards from these. I do have my points from my cards, which is not many. I haven't done my career yet, and I was kind of planning to get this one, but it's kind of not worked out like that. So let's have a look at the situation and see what we're going to do. I think I'm just going to move one. I'm going to go to Santiago. I am going to drop off some tobacco with this card, which is going to be uh, the disc that gets me money, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which goes on there. I then get a worker and I get to do an action. And that action is going to be to play It's going to play Conquer Village, okay, which costs 15. Okay, so because I've played the Conquer Village, I get this Synergy token, which increases my victory point output by two. And I can place without reward an only ship marker in a free village. So I'm going to put a French marker in a free village. Doesn't matter which one. So the French are going to conquer there. Okay, now that I've done that, I have three synergy tokens, so I'm going to remove this worker. That gets me two money and two points. Okay. Yes, that's it. That, that was that action. Right, now it's Jean's go. Yes, love the game, need to play it more. You definitely do. If you want to pop over tonight, Adam, um, we can have a game. That's, that's, that's possible, isn't it? And allowed. <laughs> yeah, this is not a game that I think would be able to be played remotely. It'd be quite difficult. Oh yeah, do I want to zoom out again? Sorry. Right, Jean is moving one. My glasses, yeah, it's my eyesight, you see. Now that I have to wear glasses, I can see, I can see this okay, but anything beyond... The length of my arm is still a bit blurry. So there, yeah. Thank you very much for, for letting me know. Right, Jeannie's only moving one, which is good. Sort of. She puts that there. Uh, and is doing combat. Right, Jeannie's doing a fight. Fight, fight, fight. So, France is zero. So it's not going to be France. Spain is eight. Uh, and England is five. So it's Spain. So she attacks... Lowest numbered city, lowest numbered city, this one. Because she can, because it's here. It is now the lowest numbered city. Yeah. The Spanish have conquered there, right? And then she gets two influence with Spain. There you go. Okay, done. My go. I'm missing a card. Um, I'm just going to draw one from here. Need all the money I can get. Um, okay, so what's my plan now? Do, am I going to be able to get another Synergy token? And do I need to get another Synergy token? I don't think I do. I've kind of given up on the whole quest idea. Exploration, I think I've left that too long. I've removed, I removed the wrong worker. So it actually should have been three money and three points. Did anybody spot that in the chat? I removed the wrong worker from my career card. Nobody did spot it in the chat because I was probably zoomed in. Is this the last turn? This is the last round. Yeah, 
of my of my second game today. Not quite the last turn. Um, I could go and visit my assistant. Yes, let's go and visit my assistant, Brian. I get a combat point. Uh, I get to remove a disc, so I'm going to remove that disc, which gets me five money. Uh, and I get two village actions. Um, so, village action number one and village action number two is going to be get two money and get two combat points. Yeah. Right, okay, Gene. Moving two and going around the bottom. So one, skippity skippity skip, two. That actually counts now, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, so that's actually going to slow her down because she can go here. Um, puts a disc on the city, gets four points and four exploration. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and it's another quest. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm so far behind on the quests. I did one, that was it. I probably do want to do a second one just to unlock this career though. Uh, but I also need to get an extra two influence with the English. So I think we need to have a fight. So yeah, let's go for Maracaibo. Hmm, I'm going to need... Yeah, I can do it. I think I can do it. Uh, I don't think I need that. How am I doing with the upgrades? I've unlocked one, two, three. I've unlocked four upgrades. Hmm. Do we do Maracaibo? Yeah, let's do Maracaibo. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. All the way to Maracaibo. Discard some sugar to put a disc on the board. So I think I'm going to put this disc on. Yep, yeah, and we're going to do a combat, and I need to be picking the English. Now, if I pick whoever is the weakest, I get plus three, and the Spanish are the weakest. But we need to pick the English. So I've got four combat points. I'm going to boost that by one to make it five, just to get two influence. Yeah, five combat points for two influence. Now, if I can generate another four... I can put a cube on the board, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm fine with that. I just used my combat point to get influence. Okay, and now that I have four influence in two nations, I have I can remove this for money, but I don't. I don't think I need to do that. I can wait because I don't need the four money at the moment. No, that's all good. Um, right, jeans go. Moves two. So one to Maracaibo, moving around the bottom, which is, this is not a city, is it? No, it is a city. Cartagena is a city. Yes. Um, so that goes on there and gets one influence in England. Okay. I need to be looking at my end game points here as well, which is not going to be much. There really isn't much in the way of cubes this game, because I didn't really do anything. I'm missing a card. Uh, that's it for Jean. So me. I was going to do this quest. Yeah, I was going to do this quest. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I am going to drop off some. Oh, I haven't got any corn. Oh dear. I'm, I'm playing too quick. So what I should have done is I should have spent one to draw that card last turn. I'm just, I'm just, let's say that I did that. I'm just playing too quick because I'm getting tired. So I drop off the corn to put this disc on here, which immediately unlocks this. And I don't know what that third ability is, but if I go past here, that's three exploration points. 
uh, sorry, that's 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 three influence points with one nation, which might be able to then unlock that. So if I get to there and if I get to there, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. It's either that or it's four points and four money. Actually, four points and four money is probably better. So four points and four money. One, two, three, four. Right. So I unlocked that with that. Now I spend two maps, okay, and complete the quest, which gets me one point because of my compass and allows me to remove two discs. And I've got one, two, three, four, five upgrades. Uh, so I'm going to remove these two discs, which gets me three points, two, three, and that's my second quest. But now if I wanted to, I could do all of this, but I'm not in any rush to do this. So I can, I can hang fire for now. Not that I'm ever going to get a third quest. No, so I can't. So I might as well take that off and I get two money. And I'll, I'll just wait on the bottom bit. No, actually, I might as well not wait because there is no way I can get influence of six with two nations. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to complete the career. I get another four money. And then I flip it over and I get two points and two money. I'm an Admiral. Admiral Grogan the third. Right. Done. I've got three cards in hand. Uh, is there any that I want that's actually going to increase my end of game scoring? I don't think there is. So I'm just going to take one, two, three. Yeah, having a hand size of six is really nice. Right, Gene. A couple of turns left. Gene moves two. Uh, so skip, skip, one. Two. Uh, takes card number three. And then gets four points and four exploration. So one, two, three, four, and four points. Four. Okay, right. Punish that. My go. Uh, I'm going to move to here. So combat or exploration. This isn't really anything, is it? Oh no, it's going to be extra points with France. Whereas exploration is nothing. No, exploration isn't going to be anything. So we'll have another fight. Uh, so if I choose the one in front, it's minus two combat points. And I think that is France. I think France is in front. France has one, two, three, four on the board. Yeah. So I could choose the English. Oh, yes, in fact, if I choose English, I can get ahead in the influence. Let's do that. Let's choose the English. If I get a point for doing choosing English, I've got three combat points. These aren't doing anything. So I might as well make it four or five for two influence. And then I could spend these four for four other combat points. To put a cube on the board, and I put a cube on the board here and get an extra one point. Every point matters. Okay, done. Gene is next. Gene goes to here. Uh, gets card number three and gets two exploration points. My last turn of the game, I go there, I get three points. That's that. And then Gene's last turn of the game. Move to there, and then triggers the end of the game. Gets card number one, which is another card. And gets one influence with Spain. Oh, Right, okay, we are done. Time to do the end of game scoring. I can now play a card. Or get two points. So I'm. Oh, I didn't. Oh. I meant to claim. I meant to play the council and 
claim the minister. I needed two actions. Oh, that's my bad. Yeah, it's my bad. I skipped there and I'd forgotten I needed to play a card. Oh well, that was a mistake. So it's either play the council or claim the thing. If I claim the thing, that will get me, uh, get me one, two, uh, plus 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. If I claim the minister, I'll get 17 points. If I play the council, I'll get seven. Okay, so there you go. I'll claim the minister. Oh, I don't have a worker. I forgot my town action. There's a town action? What town action? Plus one English rep for the four combat that I spent. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I need a worker to claim it. Exactly. So I, I've seriously messed this game up near the end as I'm starting to fade because I'm getting very hungry and my concentration's going yeah I, I used all of my workers to do that which I didn't need to do okay so I'm gonna undo that okay I'm gonna get my four workers back cube didn't go on the board because that's actually Terrible amount of points. Uh, yeah, it's like three, four, five points for the sake of... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna undo it because that was silly. Um, so that's gonna go back there. That's gonna go back there. I didn't spend the extra four to put the cube on the board, okay? It's considered a city because it has a banner. Yes, the, these are all considered cities. All of these last spaces are considered cities. You don't, you can't do village actions. The villages are only uh, basically where there isn't a banner. So yeah. So I think we undid it correctly, which means I can now pay twenty to claim that. So claiming it gets me two points, and it gives me this synergy token. That synergy token gives me an extra four points up on here. I don't think I've ever been this high up on here. Okay, right. So that's that bit done. Now we do income. So instead of getting 21 money, I get three points and I get 18, so that's 21 points. So one plus 20. Uh, Jean gets seven plus 16 gets 23, 56. Okay, so that's that done. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. We didn't. Oh, we did do the story. We'll read the story at the end. Let, let's do the points first. So, uh, Jean has done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quests, which is 35 points. So, uh, 35 points onto 55 would be 90. So, that's 91. And then, because she's completed a billion more quests than me, that's another 30 points. Okay. Upgrades, Jean has done five upgrades. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. So she doesn't get any points because she didn't do as many upgrades as me. Exploration, she's ahead by way more than 10 spaces. So gets another 30 points. Yeah, so she's on 151. <laughs> yeah, this game went very, very wrong early on. Uh, right, my scoring, I get 12 points for the, for the Minster. Come on. You can do it, Paul. And then I get the points for my cards, which is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, ninety-two. And then we need to do the scoring for here. So whoever is the highest on each of these tracks, uh, and I'm the highest on two of them. So that's uh, where's that scoring? That scoring is somewhere. Printed on the board. Oh, it's here. Yeah, max, max. So, so I get six points. Um, Jean gets three. I've just noticed. You see this? 
the number 97 here is skew if. Just notice that with the rest of them. There you go, slight printing error. Uh, anyway, that's that. Now we do the majority. So France has one, two, three, four. Yeah, so France has four on the board. France has got the most. So France is worth one, two, three, four. And I'm times two, so I get eight. Jean gets nothing. Spain is worth... Spain has three on the board, which is tied with England for second place. So Spain is worth one, two, three. Jean has three on the board, so that's nine. I have none. And then England is worth three. I have three, so that's nine for me. And six for Jean. I think that's right. I have a very special board. Yes, first printing. So I think that is it. Uh, I think you only get the points on no other action at 21. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I did. I, I just got the three points. You can't do anything else. It is just a city where you get three points, and there is a city where you get six. So, completely trashed in that game. I knew it was going badly. Gene got 169, and I got 115. I definitely played badly. Um, I let her get too many quests early on. And I just, and just overall, I, I played less well in that game. I can blame the last hour on me fading because I'm starving. Um, and it's been a long day. It's been brilliant though. This game is fantastic. It's really, really good. We're now going to read the end of this story, which is Spanish contract. Was the Cartagena contract completed? Uh, no. Okay, so we got to the end of the game without completing the contract. Oops. Right. The plague has broken out in Cartagena. This, this is brilliant. The way that this storyline is branching storyline for a Euro game, and it's really well done. I, I was hoping it was going to be this good. I didn't realise it was going to be this good. I thought it was just going to be a linear storyline with the occasional objective here and there, and it's not. It's a proper interactive novel type thing. Right. Remove L25, that's this, because we didn't do it in time. No, no, not that. Where's L25? Yeah, remove L25. Oh, it's on 22. This one. Right, so we remove this. And L13, which is this. So they get removed from the game. And we need to read card 20. Okay, so we've messed this up. Plague has broken out, and we didn't manage to go and speak to the Spanish governor in time. Right, L20, here we go. Yes, difficulty hard, but even still, if I was playing on medium or easy, I still would have lost today. Chapter 4. So yeah, this is interesting. The chapters are going in line with the games, because next game I play will be game 4, and it will be chapter 4. Chapter 4, the story so far. A plague rages unabated through the Caribbean. Dr. Edward knows the cure, but was kidnapped by Isabella, the fearsome pirate leader. You have managed to find Isabella's hideout and settle in to spy on it. In the meantime, the plague has broken out in Cartagena. Anyone who was able to flee has done so. Right. Uh, tile L3, which is got to be... Yeah, so Cartagena is now defunct. There is nobody there. Everybody is dead, Dave. And there we go. We are done for today. I will be back next week. Uh, I don't 100% know my plans for next week. I am definitely doing Marikai about at two o'clock next Thursday. I might also be doing Marikai Bo at seven o'clock next Wednesday. Okay. Watch out on my social media, um, Facebook, Twitter, and everywhere else. I will be posting my plans for next week on Monday, but I'm going to try and fit in an extra session of Maracaibo next week. So the plan is that I'm going to be doing two more games on Wednesday night and then two more games on the Thursday afternoon. So yeah, my plan is to play games four, five, six and seven next week. That is the plan. Thank you very much for watching. And as mentioned at the start, this video and all of the other content that I'm creating this month are only possible through the support of the Patreon campaign. So first of all, a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you, this month would simply not be possible. And two, if you are interested in supporting me, if you like the content that I create, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. 
Just a quick image on screen of what I've got planned for tomorrow. So this is this was this week so far. All of these videos are on the channel now if you want to go and watch them. Tomorrow I've got Viscounts of the West Kingdom live solo playthrough at two o'clock in the afternoon. And then tomorrow night I am playing Keeper, two-player game, played remotely with David Turtsey. So that's the Richard Breeze game Keeper, of which there is an expansion set and a solo version coming later this year. But I'm doing a two-player playthrough with David on Friday night. Oh, that is everything. Uh, Marlbrum is in the chat and missing the Slack invite. Uh, drop me a message or send me an email and I will sort that out for you straight after this. I will do that because we're going shopping soon, but Vicky's still working. We're all done. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, everybody. I will see you next time. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.